Biafra, in person, since the abduction of his comrade and friend, Namdi Kanu. Released two short statements on the wake of the IPOB leader's illegal rendition. To the people of Biafra, the leader wrote the following message. IPOB has confirmed the abduction of its leader, Mazi Namdi Kanu. The Biafra people must remain steadfast in their quest for self-preservation and the actualization of their nation. They must know that genocide before did not destroy the dream. Political asphyxiation did not kill the hopes of millions of Biafrans to exist as a people. To the government of Nigeria, the leader's words were unmeasured. He released the following statement to the Buhari government. That statement read in part, The government in Abuja must come to the realization that abduction and rendition of leaders has never addressed the reasons that have compelled peoples to act in defiance of tyranny and oppression. During this dark moment in the life of Biafrans, I call on all of you to pray for Mazi Namdi Kanu. In his honor and millions of others like him, rededicate your efforts in the liberation of your homeland. At this very moment, when the leader of the Amazonia Liberation War is about to officially address the people of Biafra, it is important for the world to be reminded that the two peoples who have historically occupied the lands of Biafra and southern Cameroons, now called Amazonia, share a very great and undisputed common history. The decades of manipulation of that history and the continued and current persistent attempt to exert post-colonial infringement on the legitimate rights of both peoples is why these two historically friendly neighbors are today standing up to fight and demand for what is rightfully theirs today. The following are a brief history of Biafra and Amazonia. Biafra is an African nation of about 65 million people located in the southeast of present-day Nigeria that existed prior to the advent of colonialism in the continent. As an independent state, Biafra carried out its trade and commerce with other neighboring countries before its forceful amalgamation with the northern and western parts of the Republic of Nigeria. The people of Biafra briefly enjoyed a spell of independence between 1967 and 1970, when they unilaterally declared secession. However, this move resulted in a deadly civil war that killed almost two million people, most of whom were young children, as they died of starvation despite the promise of no victor, no vanquished treatment at the end of the war. Biafrans have consistently and systematically been subjected to economic, political, and social strangulation by Nigeria. More than 50 years after the war, the circumstances that led this colonial tragedy are still prevalent today, as ethnic tensions remain unresolved. These issues have over several years led to marches, protests, and demonstrations with the demand for a full self-rule for the region. Till this day, the indigenous people of Biafra, whose leader Mazi Namdi Kanu, currently in illegal detention by Nigeria, have, however, remained steadfast, vowing to keep on the fight and their aspiration to restore that which is rightly theirs, an independent state of Biafra. To the east of Biafra land is the former British Trust territory of southern Cameroons, now called Ambazonia, a land from where today's speaker hails from. This liberator, whose people have been battling the colonial state of Cameroon for more than six decades, are now in the fifth year of active combat with the genocidal army of that state. A state that just a few days ago, on October 14, 2021, had one of its ill-trained, ill-mannered police force murdered another baby called Caroline in the Amazonia capital of Buya. It must be known that southern Cameroon a state which still holds the undisputable historical fact of being Africa's first democracy, had experienced a complete peaceful transfer of power after holding a free and fair election. 
a stable and thriving nation whose right to self-rule would eventually be violated by a decadent country, ruled from its own day capital by a few grandfathers, all of whom are close to their graves. The brief self-rule by southern Cameroons would no longer be violated of its right to self-rule by a neo-French colonial system, in complete violation of international law under the Article of 4B of the African Union Constitutive Act, an act that all national boundaries, as obtained at independence, must be respected. Cameroon, however, on October 1961, marched its army of occupation and colonial administrators across international borders into Amazonia and have been in colonial occupation till this day. Cameroon would gradually dismantle Amazonia's political institution to the extent of annihilating Amazonians' world-class democratic structures, as prognosticated by a 1972 wire now declassified from the U.S. Embassy Yonde to the White House. Resentment grew among the people of Amazonia. By in the late 90s, various Amazonia emancipation movements had been formed and the voices that clamored for full independence were suppressed, just as huge mineral deposits were discovered by France, French Cameroon's colonial master. This greed would spiral out for over six decades until five years ago when the people of Amazonia decided to fight back, method for method, with so much historical justification for both the people of Biafra and their counterparts in Amazonia, and at a time when the Nigerian government continues to hold captive the leader of the people of Biafra, the leader of the Amazonia's Liberation War, thought it's important that he speaks directly to the brave people of Biafra to reassure them that the Amazonia remains firm and committed to its promise to them as a people. Ladies and gentlemen, it is under the above circumstances that the leader of the Amazonia Liberation War, Dr. Joe Yaba, is about to address the brave and resilient people of Biafra, Amazonia's first friend with a shared border within the Gulf of Guinea. Live from the Amazonia Governing Council's headquarters in Norway, the leader of the Amazonia Liberation War, Dr. Joe Ayaba addresses the indigenous people of Biafra. My fellow Biafrans, all hail Biafra, all hail Biafra. A few months ago, uh, your leader was uh, kidnapped and rendition to, to Nigeria, where he has remained detaining communicado for the past months. I have never really spoken directly on this issue, and I have never addressed you on this issue. I sent a letter to the Directorate, the HOD, a few days ago um, informing them of my desire to address Biafrans across the globe on a couple of issues. The kidnapping and rendition of your leader, the alliance between Amazonia and Biafra, the international implications of this alliance the kidnapping of Mazin Namde Kanu, and to assure you that you are not alone in your strive for the actualization of Biafra, and to assure you once more that the betrayals of the past will never again be repeated. My fellow Biafrans, the present concept of statehood within the continent of Africa is anchored on a flawed foundation. That is why the effort of our forebears in bringing the continent together on the concept of Pan-Africanism has not worked 
because the fundamentals of the concept of statehood is anchored in colonialism, administrative conveniences, and economic spoilation. Africa has gone through several tragedies. And the children of Africa are scattered across the globe in search of a homeland, in search of an identity, in search of happiness. The continent hijacked hundreds of years ago, splintered and shared amongst colonialists who have implanted as overseers and managers of these plantations, tyrants and butchers who laid waste to our coast, looted our resources, built a large army that they have used to continue to perpetrate a new colonial. kidnapped through an illicit intercourse between Nairobi and Abuja, the leader of the largest indigenous group in the continent of Africa. It is a shame that in the 21st century, a people like Biafrans, who have been subjected to economic deprivation, political asphyxiation, social exclusion will still be treated with contempt and disdain. Let me remind Nigeria that you didn't win the war. You won the battle of 1967. You've never won the war. And the reason for Nigeria's arrogance is reflected in the fact that despite a genocide committed on you, millions of Biafrans butchered, Nigeria has never apologized. There has never been accountability. Nigeria has continued with a vindictive a perception as though Biafra was conquered and its leaders are still pushing out utterances, sown the wounds of a people who have suffered a lot of injustices in the land of their birth. All hail Biafra. Before there was Nigeria, there was Biafra. I am not addressing you as your leader. I am addressing you as a friend, as a Pan-Africanist, as someone who believes in justice, as someone who believes in the true union of peoples within the continent to safeguard their economic interests, to establish over their nations political systems that work for their interests, that are a reflection of their particularities not any strange political system that served the interests of foreign dominions, masterminded by tyrants who regularly organize political charade call elections to legitimize tyranny. My fellow dear friends, we Ambazonians are a people who have suffered injustice for so long, and we understand the pain we understand the pain of tyranny, the curtailment of rights, the deprivation, the asphyxiation, the exclusion. And that's why we stand with you. And like our forebears did in their struggle against colonialism, we believe as a people who have suffered tribulations, we should never utter words or take actions 
that betray other people. That is why I led Ambazonia into an alliance with Biafra. Because you are a permanent neighbor. We were once governors part of Inigo. And we walk out of there peacefully to establish our own system of ruling our own capital. We share a common border, a common heritage. We form one of the strongest blocks in the continent of Africa, in the Gulf of Guinea. We are a reflection of the future, future of prosperity, anchored in justice, equitable distribution of world. The exploitation of natural resources with replication and development. And where the owners of those resources not have a say in the way they are managed. We are a more than 70 million strong economy. With one of the most educated economic workforce ingenious in terms of entrepreneurial spirit. That's why they're scared of us. That's why they've imposed tyrants to ensure that our day of sunshine never comes. About five years ago, Cameroon declared war on Amazonia. It used Nigeria as a proxy state to arrest Amazonians within Biafra and within Nigeria illegally, rendition them to Cameroon, where they were detained in Communicado, tried in Kangaroo tribunals, and jailed for life. So when I speak about the kidnapping of your own leader, it's based on the experiences that we have faced. An experience that gives me a better platform to speak about this. You've been left like a flock without a shepherd. But I remind you that they've taken away your leader, but they've not taken away the vision. The ideology upon which his leadership was anchored. Nigeria has a choice. Mr. Buhari has a choice. It is a choice Mr. Bia rejected. Release Mazi Namdi Kanu, engage in meaningful discussion on the aspirations of the Biafran people, or lay Nigeria waste. Nigeria's survival depends on the freedom of Biafra, not the other way around. As I said, Nigeria won the battle of 1967. It didn't win the war. The war has been going on since then. Only one side has been armed, acted with impunity, and with a sense of callousness, as though Biafrans were captured and conquered people. You owe Nigeria nothing. Nigeria owes you its future, its economic stability, its political future. And you, Biafrans, must be treated with respect. Ambazonia will continue to support you, to encourage you. Whatever you decide about the outcome of your struggle, the method you want to use, is a choice only Biafrans can make. Whatever choices you make, you can count on the support of my leadership, you can count on the solidarity of the Amazonian people. Now for us Amazonians, we want a stable neighbor, one that respects human rights, one whose political institution is a reflection of the particularities of its own people, its heritage, and its future. You can be rest assured that the freedom of Ambazonia will be meaningless without the freedom of Biafra and all other peoples whose destiny have been held hostage by this illicit intercourse between 
modern day enslavement manifested in the tyranny of tyrants imposed over our own nations. We will never forgive. We will not build peace and reconciliation commission. There will be truth and accountability. All those who have looted our resources, laid bare our territories, murdered our people, committed genocide on us, you will be held accountable through time and space. Only then, when we can hold people accountable, shall we in the future stop impunity. Shall we hold leaders accountable for their acts when they were in power and out of power? All those who have enabled colonialism through the legitimization of tyranny and puppets over our countries will be held accountable. I continue to encourage you in your strives to be free, in your daily struggles, in the strategies you employ. And you must be reminded, all those who have died have not died in vain. All those who have been who are in jail, have not lost their liberty in vain. Never give up. Be reminded that our boat lands are flowing with the blood of patriots who have been murdered by those who took us captives. And on a daily basis, as we continue to struggle, to ensure that our people are free, that our destinies and future are secured and anchored in justice. We must be reminded of other struggles, the sacrifices made by peoples. We are now scattered across the globe, living under democracies where we have the right to speak and sometimes be listened to. For all of those who are out of Biafra, you must continue to add your voices to ensure that your leader is released and that the dreams of the Biafran people is realized. I've not come here to make you feel it's gonna be easy. Tyranny is entrenched. Brutality, murder, systematic torture, crimes against humanity, and even genocide are the best options for tyranny. You will face dark days. More leaders will be killed. Villages will be burned as they have been burned in Amazonia. You might lose another generation. But the dreams of the Biafran people as manifested today in the enthusiasm which this generation has injected in the struggle will be realized. It's in your hands to make it happen. It's in your hands to make it fail. As for us Amazonia, we are already free. We have defeated Cameroon because we made a conscious decision that because occupation is predicated on economic exploitation, we were going to stop the occupier from exploiting our resources. We made a determination also that because occupation is predicated on political legitimacy, we make sure that we delegitimize the occupier in our homeland. We also realize that political stability is critical for the survival of the occupier. We made our land ungovernable. All of these strategies has crumbled Cameroon's politics within Amazonia, has elevated Amazonia from a domestic to an international issue. And we know that the dawn of a new day for Amazonia is just around the corner. As we continue to struggle 
for our own freedom. The alliance which myself and Mazi Namdi can establish for both peoples and both nations is going to be strengthened to ensure that after we are free, we establish a free economic zone where our boat peoples can tap in both their human and natural resources to have a better life and a better future. My fellow Biafrans, Nigeria did not act alone. Kenya facilitated the kidnapping and rendition of your leader. The same crime they committed in the kidnapping and rendition of the Kurdish leader, Mr. Ochala. We must know that Cameroon continues to work with Nigeria to perpetrate crimes against Zambazonians. These alliances are critical for tyranny. They have implications on the outcomes which we seek for our people. That is why all Biafrans and Ambazonians must understand that the alliance between Biafra and Ambazonia is critical to ensure our boat survivors. We will not defeat these tyrannies alone. We must work together like a people suffocated, like a people whose existence is threatened. We must stand together in all aspects and I'm grateful and thankful that Biafrans in their hundreds join Ambazonians across the globe in the celebration of our 60th year of independence. We will continue also to replicate with the same kindness to ensure that you are free. On a daily basis, as you struggle for the freedom of your leader, you can count on me. You can count on my added voice. You can count on my own leadership. I wish you strength. I wish your own leadership, strength, foresight, and wisdom as they lead you to the dreams which you've set for yourself for the generation yet unborn. You must know you are a free people. It is up to you to rise up and defend that freedom or raise your hand in surrender and allow the enemy to continue to lay waste to your territory. All hail Biafra. God bless you all. and they would have Well, this is Mobian. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPF families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafran war mm -hmm. In the thickness of the Biafra genocide Hey, when my rivers the vanishing hope to life Ah, uh, let the great Biafran army the fight And they were singing out
Well, this is OBM. This is dedicated to the gallant heroes of the Nigerian Biafra War and IPF families all over the world. I remember the Nigerian Biafra War mm -hmm. in the thickness of the Biafra genocide. Hey, one man revived the vanishing hope to life. Ah, uh, let the great Biafra army the fight. And they were singing out. Many years after the genocide, whoa, yet another great leader has risen up now. Oh, and he's leading the Biafra to victory. You shall see them no more. Says the Lord of my 
baby, I am with you. We must get to the promised land. The promised land is called Niagara. The land of rising sun. Over the Chuku, Bajira Kosi. Over the Chuku, Joramba. Over the Chuku, Merese. I mean the population. The northern population. Even the houses. They will just one day they will rise. Because they don't fear about death. Or they will rise up and slaughter the whole their political elites. That is why they first of all remove the key. That is education. They immerse them into religion. Continue, you know, blindfolding them. And that blindfolding is coming to our land. That is why they reduce the quality of education in the whole of Nigeria. In order to put everybody into slumber, they discourage people in their policies from education. There are friends that are eager to learn, to go to school. Now, ah, what are you going to school to do? Ah, after school, what do you do? You start riding keke. Then they say, oh boy, let me go start trading. Or got more boy, which is a good thing anyway. But uh, you, that is why we have dummies now in our land. Because many of them don't even understand that they are, that even they're supposed to hold their politicians accountable for anything. No. They don't, they, many of them don't even understand. They thought that this is the way things should be. That is what Nigeria system has done. I say we came from far. Our leader, he came, he, he started picking the remnants. I'm telling you, remnants. Otherwise, what would we have done? The killing, stabbing of uh, the lawmaker, uh, uh, what is his name? David Ames. It's a very horrible incident. But it let it show. You know, the, the way the Nigerian media will report it, they will report it in a kind of way, if they can, if they will anyway. To discourage, they, they will not tell them that it is angry person, it is an angry human being, population, ordinary person that can do it. Do you remember when we just ask ordinary question? We throw raw, ordinary raw egg to, to a Kuremado in Germany. Something that happens in civilized countries every day. Their presidents or prime ministers or politicians are being slapped by the people. And they enjoy it because that is, uh, they will start explaining. I'm sorry for somebody that slapped me, but look, look, look. He will explain and try to work harder to better the lives of the people because that is why they are there. Not to better their own lives, No. Not to steal and live big and show on social media that they can own private jet. They can own the latest uh, G-Wagon. They can own this. And you see Murons typing. Um, I, I tap from your blessing. Do you see how they have reduced the population in Nigeria? And that is why 
the Nigerian government does anything with impunity. No body cares. Uh, uh, there is a news that Nigeria Air Force pays bandit 20 million naira to avoid shooting down Buhari's plane. How, 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 okay, how can you, how can you call these people bandits? It is today's news. How can you call people that, uh, uh, that have anti-aircraft guns? They captured it from the Nigerian government. You know, I told you that the Fulani, they work multi-dimensional. Multi-dimensional. Do you understand? They will arrange with their Fulani terrorists. See, we are in, in charge. We are in power. So, don't worry. They bring a terrorist into the, into the military and police, into the Nigerian forces, security force apparatus. And as they enter, they continue promoting them. Some people that don't know even how to read and write, they continue promoting them. And do you see that custom officer? That was a terrorist. Do you see? You know, they, I say the Fulani, they are multidimensional. They work. Now they bring all those uh, 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 Boko Haram military in Biafra land to slaughter us and Southerners in general. Both in you know, the they take our own Biafran people in the military. They just transfer them to the north where they will be massacred. So they are killing us in the north, killing us in the south. And you are telling me that these people they don't know anything. Come on. You know, when good luck Jonathan was there, he was there in order to appease. Our people are always appeasing. He started building schools. Yes. In order to to educate them, the the, the, the northern public, the Hausa and the Fulani, and others in the north, that are Al Majiris. He, he, he has a good strategy. You know, our people always have good strategy. But in Nigeria, it cannot work because it's too late. It cannot work. It can never work because it's too late. Do you understand me? I say, good Lord, Jonathan, they sabotaged him. Uh, just like, just imagine an incumbent president. They sabotaged him, frustrated him in the war against Boko Haram. Anywhere he wants to buy weapon, they block it. Who are blocking it? The Fulani. The unseen hand, their unseen hands. Imagine incumbent, incumbent president trying to smuggle cash to buy weapon in the black market. They cut nine million dollars from him for you know cash. Don't you understand how frustrated and traumatized he was? Into doing black business. An, an incumbent, incumbent. You know, when somebody will tell you that, oh, Ibo president, let him go, he will do this. I, I say, Satan, get, deep, get, get you behind me. Because you are ignorant of the Nigerian setting. Nigeria belongs to the Fulani. Britain gave it to them. If you don't know this fact, you are ignorant. Until we do away with that entity, now you see. Until Nigeria, you know, you know, our leader said something. He said he will stop at nothing than the destruction of Nigeria, because Nigeria have tormented the indigenous population. They have used that that name, Nigeria, to torment everybody. So our mission is to make sure to not only to liberate every indigenous population, but to make sure that Nigeria is destroyed, that that name will go into the dustbin of history. Look at Nigeria, Nigeria Air Force, paying so-called bandits. These are terrorists. They organize everything. The Fulani organize everything. You know, take this money. You need it. Do as if give us back. Another day, you take it back. We, you know, that is a way of paying the money. That is a way of sponsoring them. And they understand. And all, all our people are doing is just to scavenge, sell their own people, scavenge for crumbs. Whereas the main deal is going on. 
The gun truck with the 12.7 caliber anti aircraft fire was reportedly dis disassembled and transported back to the military on motorbikes after the deal was concluded with the bandits. These are these are the Fulani terrorists sponsored by the Nigerian government. Oh, Chineke, sometimes I say, why, why, why do we find ourselves in that mess without even understanding it? It's very, it's very pathetic. Honestly, it's very pathetic. But we must continue. Before I go to the topic of my submission today, which will be also brief, tomorrow I will be here hosting our HOD, Mazicheke Dosiem, Mazicheka Chinasanwuru, and Maziabwanyam. It will be a question and answer, please so that you ask your questions because dear friends must be communicated to. That is it. So if you know any of your questions, hold it till tomorrow by 7.30 p.m. BT. That is Biafra time. Do you understand? Do not miss tomorrow's question and interactive session question and answer. Please, there is nothing like Hausa Fulani as a people. What we have are the Hausa and the Fulani as different people. When you call them Hausa Fulani, you are doing the bidding of the Fulani because it is them that brought out this deception. Do you understand? They brought out this deception in order for you to continue referring to them to what they want you to call them. Do you understand? For you to continue calling them House of Fulani ignorantly so that they continue rallying the houses to do their dirty job. But when the benefits come, you see the full honey, they reap the benefits. Look at today, I think the other day, day before yesterday, I read about the news. Full can, full honey, Christian Association of Nigeria. They are taking, uh, don't worry, uh, the, full honey, <laughs> you are joking with them. They will become that the geo in there, you, uh, just watch it. They will become your daddy geos. And you will still see the same. Uh, I mean, imbecilic population of uh, Igbo supporting them. Hey, Nandia Chariqua, no Konya Fulani, no Jiqui. Hey, he can pray. <laughs> they will flood in there. A back, I got no what that is, eh? A machoni. Because uh, these are people that are going like ships without shepherd. Ndibo. Ships without shepherd. Anna, 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 a zombie now goes everywhere. Go to the hole. They will not, they cannot even support, hardly they support their own. If not the coming of Mazenam, they can. The whole big, big denominations, churches, is them that are sponsoring it. They fool everywhere. I'm a child survivor. I'm a child boutique. I'm a child miracle. That miracle is in good governance. That miracle you are looking in Sokoto is in your Shokoto. It's good governance. And in Nigeria, you cannot get good governance. Good governance comes from discipline and loyalty. And that is the topic of my submission today. I'm going to talk about it. Discipline and loyalty. That is it. So please... Stop calling them House of Fulani. The Fulani, they are master planners. I'm telling you. I say now, they, have, they are now pastors. They have 
they, they call themselves, no more, they are not in Christian Association of Nigeria. You know in Nigeria, what you have is Fulani and others. No more. They cannot enter into, no, 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 they do their own. They do their own. Because if they come in Khan, if they say they are affiliates of Khan, you cannot hear their voice and they themselves, you know that they are fraud. They are not even Christians. Fulani. But now they call their own full can, full and Christian Association of Nigeria. It will now go people. Before you know now, they will take they will take over everything. They will take over Christian can. <laughs> In order to deceive the international community that look, you are calling full and we full and we are Christians, so we are not even Muslim. Those that are doing it, we don't know. Those killers, they are calling for an egg. No, 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 it's not us. We are Christians. That is what they want to do, want to achieve. This people how multi-dimensional. Do you understand? In their in their plans, in their system. Do you understand me? They are multi-dimensional. They use everything for them to advance their agenda. So please stop calling them House of Fulani. The history of the Fulani revelation in House of Land started only 1804. When Ottoman and Fudio manipulated the houses into killing themselves to the advantage of the Fulani. And the house race fell 1808. After just four years, man, being manipulated by just few people. <laughs> but look at how they are manipulating us through our politicians in Nigeria. You know, when we talk about history, that time, people that time will not understand what was going on. It is only when the thing passed that we'll be talking it as history. The same way things are happening today. Things are happening. Our governors are blind like a blind Batimos. Trying to take us, conquer us by fire, by force to the, uh, to the full and caliphate. Bribing those that they can bribe. Giving money in one gaze or the other. A time will come, it will be in history. That El Jose Ocalo, he is the he is the first Igbo governor to bring an institute roga. He instituted it in 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 a, in a very trickish manner. That is a, uh, uh, it is livestock a trading center. All these things will be in history. By that time, people that time will be reading it. They will not understand the vehemency. That is it. Please don't be deceived. Stop calling. Or referring to them as the House of Fulani. What we have are the Hausa and Fulani as different people. The Hausas are encouraged to rise up and take what belongs to them. Do not accept defeat. Stop accepting defeat. You are never defeated until you accept it. After all, Iberian Peninsula, Europe was conquered for almost 800 years. And later they took back what belonged to them. And that is the Europe we are seeing today. They were conquered by Arab. It became an emirate. Emirate of Cordoba. But after 800 years, they struck back and took it back. So the houses, you are not conquered yet. Don't accept conquest. It's only 200 and few years. 200 years plus. Two centuries plus. Only. So why should you accept uh, that you are, no, you are helpless? It is because of cowardice. You understand? This is what they, they want to do worse in Igbo land, in our land. Because when they crossbreed, when they, you know, they dilute the blood lineage, they, they bring off offsprings that are, that are, you know, they fall, they, they love the fallen name. They will side them. That is what is happening. And that is what the Fulani always did. But thank God that before we did that extent, 
he sent a savior for us or to us in the name of Mazen Namdekano. Therefore, as I said, in the next four days, he will be in Nigerian court. Therefore, we should do the needful. Our leader must be released or there will be dire consequences. That is all we must say. I will say for now. As I said, the topic of my submission today says discipline and loyalty. Discipline and loyalty. You know, what we say here always, because people, some people say, oh, we are tired of hearing, we are tired of. You can close your ear anyway, but that behavior is what makes people start losing focus. Do you understand? What makes some people? Let me tell you. Like uh, one time, I think somebody said called called my program. He said I started listening. I think two weeks now. <laughs> there are some people that they never even understand. They are hearing here say IPOB this and that, but never really on, on you know. They maybe they started hearing listening to this thing few days back or few weeks or months. So what we do here is to the, 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 the continuation of consistency. You see how I put it? Continuation of consistency. We must be consistent. Consistent in our endeavor, in our action, in our focus, in our preaching, in our teaching. Because faith comes by hearing. That is it. You are what you listen to. If you had it been you are tired, you wouldn't be going to church from childhood to to adulthood. Because what we father tell you, I, his father is a pastor going to read from another book. It is the same Bible. Maybe you as an individual have read that Bible for for over and over from Genesis to Revelation. But there is a, the same verse you read. You can go to a church, your pastor will bring it, that same verse, and he will give it another an analysis and interpretation, and you will learn that day. That is what we do here. Do you understand? So, as I said, the topic of my submission today says discipline and loyalty. Discipline, as we know, is the practice of training people to obey rules or a code of behavior. Using punishment to correct disobedience. You can never have discipline without punishment. God taught it to the Israelis. God, who is all omnipotent, he can do anything he wants. He is everywhere omnipresent and omniscient. That is, he knows everything. He can do everything. He is everywhere. But in dealing with the children of men, he has to provide code of conduct in the name of law. God has the capacity of programming the Israelis to, to be straightforward, to be law. Jais, without even giving law, to program them to do what he wants them to do. Because he is God. He is omniscient and omnipotent. Do you understand me? But Man, being a free moral agent, he, he, man is an entity of himself. You understand? That is why he have to give them law as a basis to guide them. Look at how you deal with your fellow human beings, this and that. Failure to do this, there will be consequences. He tried to institute discipline and loyalty. Loyalty is the art of giving or showing firm and constant support or allegiance to a person or institution. That is loyalty. When you show allegiance, as in IPOB, you are not an IPOB family member just for, uh, for the sake of it. There are things you must show discipline and loyalty. You cannot be disciplined 
without loyalty. Neither can you be loyal without discipline. It is, it is impossible. Discipline and loyalty have to do with abiding by the rules, laws, and other. If you understand? Discipline and loyalty they have to do with abiding by the rules, laws, and other. You know, order. Look at how it order. Some put something in order. That is it. Laws and order. You see somebody, oh, he's disciplined because he abides by the rule. These are important. These are so important that they are determinant, determinant factors in the lives and progress of a person or a people. You see discipline and loyalty. That is what determines the progress in the lives of people, a person or a people. You understand? You know, I used to give you this example every day. Japan, when they had their first contact with the Europeans, mostly Netherlands, Portuguese, French, English, this and that, they come to their land, they saw what the, I mean, the war, new war equipment, new technology, war equipment, and they love it. They say, okay, we have to trade with you, we buy it. Okay? And the Europeans came with their religion. Missionaries enter offshore. I mean, onshore, sorry, entered into the land. They dis disembarked and started preaching. There is another, another man, you know, the way to see God, you have to come through this and that. Uh, the, Euro the Japanese, they look at this, they say, ah, no, 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 no. no. We have our own course. We have charted our own course. They prevented the people from embracing Christianity. They resisted. It's a war. It was a war. And you understand? They maintained their people's discipline and loyalty to their tradition and culture. To their normal way of life. Their local way of life. And that thing today, <laughs> they are thanking that all those their ancestors for doing that today. Do you understand? Therefore, loyalty, discipline and loyalty is a determinant factor or they are determinant factors in the lives and progress of a person or a people. You must be loyal to something. That is it. Let me give you an example. You know, ce celebrities or stars, they reach their heights because they are loyal and disciplined to the system they are in. You know, when you look at, uh, when you see a celebrity, oh, he's a, uh, he's a star, uh, Messi, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo, all these uh, who, big uh, football superstars or, or film stars, on, they are disciplined and loyal. They don't behave anyhow. They abide by the rules. And once you can be disciplined and loyal, the sky remains your limit. <laughs> Do you understand? You know, you see, I think you know somebody, Eddie Mason. He was a, a Maradona. I'll call him Maradona in Nigeria at that time. He was a very good footballer, very good one. Uh, but uh, he didn't reach his uh, 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 his soccer height. His career was cut short because of allegation of rape in his club in Belgium. That is um, indiscipline. In order to reach to the zenith, in order to progress, you must be disciplined and loyal. Without discipline, you cannot achieve anything. It's a determinant factor in your lives. That is it. Discipline and loyalty. These are two determinant factors in somebody's lives or as a people. Do you understand? The civilized countries today advanced and progressed because they managed to make citizens to be disciplined and loyal to the system. That is obedience to law and order. 
That is why you can enjoy welfare. Everything is organized in a civilized country you are living today. Do you know why? Because people are forced to be disciplined and loyal to that system. Because human being, as I say, human being is a free moral agent. You know? If there is no law and order, or no law, rules and regulation, you see human beings will become, become like animals. Do you understand me? Human beings will become animalistic, even more than animals. You see in Nigeria what is happening. Do you understand? I don't know why somebody is calling me. So, what am I saying? That discipline and loyalty is the key to either individual success, individual or collective success. Do you know one of the main reasons we are suffering today as Biafrans? Because we have no, we are not loyal. We are not disciplined to our cause. <laughs> that is what IPOB Mazin Namde Kano came to correct. Everybody knows each. We know each. Each and every one of us know more than I know more than you. You know more than me. How can I go low? No, 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 no. Our leader now instituted. He instituted IPOB, an institution. He put up an institution so that we become discipline to the rules and regulation abiding that institution in anticipation preparing ourselves to welcome our new nation we are that institution will become a system I don't know whether you understand me civilized countries today advanced and the progress because they managed to make citizens to be disciplined and loyal to the system. That is, they force people to ob be obedient to law and order. That is why there is security. That is why you can, you know, you will be on the street, no person will harass you with impunity. No, 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 no. That is why you be on the street and anything that happens, you call the cops. Under one minute, they are there. Because they want everybody to be disciplined and loyal to the system. And that is why you enjoy good life. Because the, the reward to, uh, to discipline and loyalty is good life. It's just like somebody that do boy boy, did boy boy, very disciplined, very loyal to the master. At the end of the day, he served the master very well. Even the wife, the wife will like the person to the extent he will tell the husband, you see this man, actually he do your fuma in a big way because he's a very disciplined chap. He's loyal. And the end product, the outcome will be he will make it. He will be living big. He will enjoy his dis discipline -ship and loyalty. You understand? Nigerians don't even obey their own laws because they lack discipline and loyalty. When we talk about discipline and loyalty, there must be a structure or a system to which we should be disciplined and loyal to. You don't just become disciplined or loyal to uh, just like that. There must be a system or a structure. Do you understand? It could be culture. That thing you are disciplined or loyal to, it could be culture. 
You know, people protect their culture, their religion, their traditions, or a system, or both. There must be a structure that you'll be loyal or disciplined to. Because if you, as a human being, you are not loyal and disciplined, you are not disciplined and loyal to a, a structure or an institution or a system, you are not a human being. Even right from your family, you must be loyal. You must be disciplined. <laughs> you understand? So, what in our own case, our structure is IPOB. It is not yet a system. It is a structure put in place. It is a future system. Do you understand me? You know, we are training ourselves to be disciplined and loyal. Because there is, without discipline, we can do nothing. What we have is, okay, how can you talk to me? Who are you? You know, ego we enter. You know, in loyalty and discipline, it doesn't have to do with your personality. Loyalty, discipline and loyalty to a system or to a structure, your egoism, your individual ego, it doesn't matter. Once you are not disciplined, it doesn't matter your profession. It doesn't matter your educational background or your professional qualification. All those things doesn't matter. That is why if you go to jails, to the prisons, today all over the world, you see PhD holders, you see former presidents are in jail, like in South Korea. You see, it does, you see professionals. You see engineers. Because they fail to obey the law. That is, they fail to do one thing or the other. They, they, failed, they did one thing or the other against the code of conduct, against uh, rules and regulations. And that is why they are receiving the punishment. So, it doesn't look at their personality. Oh, you have PhD in... Uh, mathematics. Oh, you are no, no, no. Oh, you are a politician. You do no, 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 no. That is not because discipline and loyalty is more than your personal ego. That is what we should understand, and that is the mistake we are making as dear friends and as evil people. Oh, I mean, we are we are this in nature. What do you call uh, Republicans in nature? That is the word every time. You know, you see very mischievous people. They want to do something. We are, we are, we are Republicans in nature, which means don't talk to me. You don't know more than me. How can we succeed as a people without discipline and loyalty? How? Just tell me how, with all frankness. Just tell me how. Do you know that is the reason why? After most of the revolutions. You see, it is preceded by dictatorship. Do you know why? A good dictator, you know, he will make sure to force the people to be disciplined and be loyal to the new system. It is in line with a natural development or human advancement. You study history it's like that. It is only in Africa that they, you know, after independence, independence oh, democracy. They, oh, every time I'm, I used to cry for this deception they call democracy in Africa. This thing they practice in Africa, like in Nigeria, called democracy is worse than colonialism. I'm telling you. Worse. Because people are, first of all, people are not disciplined neither loyal. How can you, how can they go, how can they, you know, keep themselves democratic? It's impossible. That is why Nigeria even doesn't obey their own law. That is why you can get away with crime. It depends on who you are. That is why politicians, public servants, public, uh, 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 public servants, they, 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 they steal, they loot with impunity. Because of this imposition of a uh, so-called democracy that is rubbish in Africa. 
after every successful revolution, a good dictator will always pop up. You know the work? In order to push force people into maintain that direction. If you cannot, you know, if you don't have that good dictator, you are nothing. You, all your revolutions will scatter because it will lead to anarchy. People will say, ah, I know more than you. How will we, they will, People will start challenging everything. And there, what you get is anarchy. Bloodshed, anarchy, and uh, quagmire. Study the French Revolution. Napoleon Bonaparte was a, a very good dictator. But all these things, they don't tell you. After the French Revolution, Napoleon Bonaparte rose up. And you know what? There was bloodshed. He killed. But when they, they are not telling Africans this, because you need to force people. You need to, a guy or child, you need to clear the bush. Those people, there are those that still we have that uh, intent, that blood of uh, lawlessness in them. They must be forced in order to obey. But what did Europe did? The Europeans programmed Africa, African governments to fail through this deception called democracy, which they imposed to Africa. You know, you know what? This is why African politicians are more interested in winning elections than building their countries. You know, in Nigeria, what matters to them is the party, political party. That is, they don't care about uh, the country. And in a way, you can say, okay, they are right. Because if you meet them, say, why are you? He said, without, without my political party, if we didn't win, now what change would I, could I make? I cannot be in the helm of power. And when you look at it, there is a truth in that. But the problem is, that is what the Europeans impose on us in order to continue making, you know, it's more, than, it's more worse than colo direct colonization, I'm telling you. You know what they know about, just like, uh, look at uh, democracy in Anambra State, in Nigeria. They are bringing 34,000 soldiers, military and the helicopters, if there is a war, in the States. Just for election, no election. And you are telling me that this is normal. Are you telling me that this is normal? For goodness sake. Let us tell ourselves the truth. Because the worst thing we, we always do did to ourselves is lying. Pretending that everything is okay. Pretending that we are getting it right. Oh, let us try again. You try the same thing. And after you may say, you say, okay, now another, let us, okay, let's wait. After we shall try again. And you try again. You continue trying for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years. And still the same thing. You continue. Are you not stupid? I say, are you, are you a human being at all? This is why. Our leader instituted IPOV. It's an institution for now. When we have restore Biafra, it will become a system. So that we chart our own system. We, through this IPOB, we are doing command and control. People should learn how to obey before complain. This is a war. From there, we train ourselves into discipline. Do you understand what I mean? We train ourselves to be disciplined so that we respect institutions not doing eye service to a person. You know, the other day I said it. Some people, now I understand. People, some people are into this uh, IPOB or calling out Mazin Namdika because, because of maybe just the way he speaks. They love it. They love him. Or the way he is handsome. Or the way he commands, or you know, gesticulates, you know, the way he talks and with authority. That is why some people say, oh, just uh, replicate somebody, paint somebody, even if he's a doll baby, he paint his face so that he resembles Mazin Amdekano, so that we'll be seeing him on video, he will be doing like him, talking like that, you know, uh, 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 maintaining his voice. Now, nah, say, look, these are people that are. Respecting soldiers of Biafra in the name of Chukwabiama, we shall conquer. We are soldiers, soldiers of
quote, your ego becomes nothing. You are personal ego. I'm a PhD holder. I'm this and that. I'm a professional. Do you know what? I can fire a uh, missile from space. It doesn't matter. What matters is that discipline and loyalty. Do you understand what I mean? So, as far as there is a structure, you must be loyal to that structure. You know, the things, uh, things of this world functions with discipline, uh, rules and regulations. You know, like the, 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 when you throw up something, it must come down. It's a rule. If you throw something, force of gravity must take, is there. Is the rule being put in place naturally. If you throw maybe an orange, now we continue going up, flying up, what will you do? You run. You call people now and see what, what is happening. No? Because it is abnormal. It's no more obeying the rules, the natural rules. It's no more in order. Therefore, there is something abnormal. Do you see it? Everything obeys rules. Everything obeys, exists under obedience to rules and regulations. You know, IPOB is just like a body. A body. This body that is speaking. Mars, Jonathan. Your body, everybody, you have, you have many things in the body. You have things, very vital organs that you can never see with your eyes. You have some organs, if you see it with your eyes, even you vomit. But they are very vital. They are part of the up body. That is how IPOB works. That is how IPOB is. Do you understand me? That is how a body functions. Not everything must come up on open, on the open. Now it's no more a body. It becomes something artificial. Do you understand me? So, we must be disciplined and loyal to the structure of IPOB if we want to succeed. You know, before IPOB, before these indigenous people of Biafra, before Mazen Namdekano came into the scene, we Biafrans, we never have any ideology. We never have a system or a structure to be disciplined to. And now, boy, all we care for is Nigeria. If they ask you, now, nah, how far? Uh, what, nah, oh, Nigeria, eh? Now, wow. And all that, the Fulani, they, we are there disciplined to their own cause, privately. Using Nigeria to, you know, put in your front to deceive you as an illusion. Today, we have understood. Today, Mazen Namdekano opened our eyes. That is why we must be disciplined to the cause. We must be disciplined to the structure. You understand me? Anything that uh, that has no structure, which means uh, it's not, it's nothing. Do you understand? It's nothing. You know when you put up. That is why you say you put up a structure. For example, you build a house. That space there, it was nothing. A hey, land, empty land, and now you put up a structure. In putting up a structure, there is a way it is. There is a way it goes. You put a foundation. All those, you have pillars. You have ions that are buried on the ground. Nobody sees them, but they are the main thing. Do you understand? Now, when you finish uh, your building, maybe one-story building or two-story building, now you see, what people will be seeing is the shine, shine paint or the tires. That Oh, now nah, this building good, though. Yeah, I see you. What they are seeing is that thing, you know, is the... That structure, the way the, you know, the way you is shining. Whereas without the pillar, without all those things, it won't work. The pillars, people don't see it. When those pillars were being put, it was just like potopoto mixed cement, everything quagmire, you put it, you know, but the, that is building structure. So we must be disciplined in order to respect the structure of IPOB. Without it, we can never progress. Without it, we can never, we can never progress. We have things that are, we have our leader that is coming up, his court case coming up in the next four days. All we can do is to, uh, you know, start talking about things that 
that are not supposed to. I don't understand. It is this thing we say we started chasing shadow, and uh, the bride imposter came to New York, and all of we forgot everything. We forgot until a man is because we are pursuing shadow. Our enemies are not sleeping. Let me tell you, our enemies are not sleeping. We must remain focused. Without discipline and loyalty, we are going nowhere. Just like any celebrity, any star in this world, if he fucks up, they destroy his career. Do you understand? His career will be destroyed. Therefore, discipline, loyalty, it doesn't look at your your ego, who you are, your profession. Oh, you are very intelligent. Without discipline and loyalty, your talent and your your education talent all become zero. The same way Eti Mason, he was a very good footballer, very good one. He can make it, make it even to the top, world top. But because of a lack of discipline, <laughs> that's it. He broke the rules. You see all these all these stars. Any slightest thing they are down. That is why they are very careful. They remain disciplined and loyal, loyal to every, everything. You see them even highly civilized, civil, because they know that their their career depends on their discipline and loyalty. Because without these two, you are talent. If you want to be the best. It's nothing. It's just like um, a, 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 a jet fighter pilot being in jail because of rape. Maybe they sentence him in some countries to, to perpetuity, to life. What is the need of your... You're, you're highly qualified number one. F-35 fighter jet uh, pilot. But you committed a crime, you break, you are not disciplined, you break the rules. And you say you are sent to jail for life. What is the need of your being a pilot? Are you going to be flying it in jail? Do you see what we are saying? Without discipline and loyalty, you are nowhere. Your ass is grass. That is why we are on IPOB. We should guide this structure jealously. Maintain discipline and loyalty. Because without it, we will be moving from post to post, pillar to post. Who are you? Do you know who I am? That is always what you hear in Ndibo's talk. Do you know who I am? I am this. I am that. How can you co command me? Can you control me? I'll go and ask Salam Muto. I'll go and borrow my ticket to this place. I'll go. You see that these are people without discipline. Look at, look at Nigeria, how Nigeria is. Where there is no discipline and loyal, loyalty. Nobody is disciplined to Nigeria. Nobody. If you can kill somebody, as far as you have a... As far as you have Abraham Nanna, as far as you have uh, maybe your brother or your uncle that is a, a top uh, officer, either military, police, or anything, you kill somebody, you get away with it. There's no discipline. Because Nigeria doesn't even obey their own laws, their own rules and regulations. But this is not how we are. We don't want it on IPOB. We want structure. There is nothing like independence. Everything lies under IPOB. Under one structure. IPOB, one family. If you are not comfortable with it, you just, you better move out. That is, that is the thing. You know, some people, they used to confuse this. They used to confuse themselves. They will say, ah, but this person is talking of Biafra. We are not against anybody talking about Biafra. You promote Biafra, no problem. But as far as it comes to indigenous people of Biafra, because we have families all over the world, that is where, as an outsider, as an independent person, you have no right. You have right for Biafra. Do Biafra your own way. We will support you. We, you know, no problem. But when it comes to Indigenous people of Biafra family, there you have no say. 
for you to be to have a say, you have to enter into the structure. That is how it is. Let me stop being. You know, our people are sentimental. That is why they are being they are being always uh, deceived. Oh, nah, eh. This person is talking about their front. No, crazy, Hey, well. And uh, that, you know, so people that are sentimental, they always, they always act uh, bizarre. Because sentiment will make them to, to be, to turn green today. Tomorrow they see another thing that will, uh, that will draw them sentimentally. They draw them, they turn red. And the following day, they said they turn to blue. They, they have because of sentiment. But in IPOB, we are solid. It doesn't care. We are not moved by sentiment. Our leader has trained us. The only thing is, we obey the structure. We be loyal and disciplined to the structure set out by Mazen Namde Kano. The, uh, as um, as Mazen Namde Kano is absent for now, physically absent. He is in the enemy territory where he cannot give others direct, direct. I'm saying that where he cannot talk to us. He is saying it always DOS. The directorate of this are that is these are these are the leadership. Let me say it. It's the leadership. Every other thing is under them. If they give order, if they say this, that is what we follow. We become loyal. And discipline to to it. If you say no, I only imagine I'm the kind of can talk to me. I went, now you know that you are here for another thing, not for the progress of IPOB or the advancement of IPOB. Know that there is another thing you are here for. That is where people used to make mistake. Do you understand? We do what we do because we want good life to our future generations. It is not because of Mazin Namdekano or any other individual. Rather, in order to build a healthy system similar to those of civilized countries. If you are doing what you are doing because of Mazin Namdekano, for him to see you that you are hardcore, you are deceiving yourself. That is why in his absence, now you become a lion. You become hyena. Do you understand? This is not what we are for. We are here in order to be loyal and disciplined to the structure of IPOB. And that is the only way we, we can progress. Because in every country where there is discipline and loyalty, that country progresses, advances. There is security, there is everything good. People get paid in time. There is steady electricity because people are loyal and disciplined. Everybody does all he, his job in loyalty with discipline for the progress of the system. Unlike in Nigeria, Nigeria people are any money that you that enters your hand, you you steal it. Public fund is for you. Highest you share to people that could talk and you buy them and you buy their silence. A place where there is no discipline, where there is no loyalty. It's only in Nigeria you see they say, um, the government work, you know they carry them for head or you carry them for your neck or for your back in case if it start having you, you throw it. No! No! For a disciplined people, a structure with discipline, even the work, the, the system's work, the government work, you carry it with your head. That is why we are here all the time, not being paid. We make sure that we, we come up to do the job because we are carrying it our, in our head. Do you understand? That is how it should be. It becomes personal. You cherish it personally as a personal thing. This is not in Nigeria. Where you, nah, uh, on government, yes, on him. It is my thing. That is how it should be. Because you are extremely loyal. You are disciplined to the cause. Therefore, you take it personal. That is why people are dying for it. Do you understand? Therefore, when you come in order to say another thing or start another thing or start doing another thing, 
know that you are not disciplined. This is where I'm going to stop so that I will open my lines. I say I will be brief and I am. So I will stop here and open my lines. But before I do that, I will go on a few minutes break so that when I come back, I will continue by opening my lines. I'll be right back. Winning producer, shaking it, go beats. Japanese ghost talent, exclusive. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name remains Mars Jonathan Chinedu. Today is the 17th day of October 2021. Our direct line is plus one. 213-328-6224. I repeat, plus one, 213-328-6224. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus 61-405-142-547. I repeat, plus 61-405-142-547. I have a caller on WhatsApp. You know, people are, we are calling and disturbing the music. I have a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Your name and where are you calling from? Good evening. Good, good evening, Mars Jonathan. Welcome to the program. Please, you are the first caller. Make it worthwhile, please. Uh, go on. I'm calling, I'm calling from my location. There you go. Yes. Um, what to say is that... Uh, People don't know, or even our system. Yeah. I don't understand, but I try to. The institution is an institution. I don't know when we will spell people our own way alive. You, if people even watch militaries, in militaries, you have to tell your master, I want to do this because you have your own sentiment, or you, you, this is what you want. As far as they stop, you stop. And I, Mas, you know, one thing, you know one thing, I don't, sometimes I don't too much blame mm. our people. Because we are not yeah. accustomed to obeying institutions. Right from childhood, yeah, we, 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 are, we, we are trained. We grew up in Ikeketori. 
Do you understand? <laughs> <laughs> that is, no, no, that is it. Yes, that is true. yes, yes. So people come into a no, building with this through. mentality. We, people don't, yeah. There are people in our land, they don't even know what is government. Yeah, yes, yes, you yes. You hustle true, for your true, life, true. anything you can by yourself. So yeah. no, no structure, nothing. That is the thing. Sometimes I listen it, I say, no, yes. this is the yes, problem. Yes. But where it pains me is, when you see people but, that have lived abroad, that see life, see where yeah. there is structure, they are obeying the structure that, of that what they I do. They are obeying the structure of where that, they that are. That's what I imagine sometimes. But then when they come to yes. our land, when they come to IPOB, now they start uh, quoting, I'm this, I'm that. Yeah. But they can, in the place where yeah. they are, let me tell you, if, is, uh, if, uh, even if they are billionaires, no person recog no person know them. You are billionaire and you are owner. No person yeah. they see you as a black yes. man, as a, even a black monkey. And they are they are quiet, yes. they, they obey the structure, they are disciplined, they are very polite. Yes. But when it comes to our own thing, they become you know yes. who who will command you who I know from my location where I'm coming from. I am calling the actual family. But I have flowed our data right from my secondary school, right from my estate, straight following, still listening to our leader. He said you must discipline. And the last one said the only way for us to succeed, we must be disciplined. Even when they say they have to do all this sit at home. I was like, you know, I wasn't like happy. I was like playing with myself. But I said no. And did that say you must listen to the leadership. When they say stop, you stop. When they say move, you move. Even though they are getting it right, he have said it, the structure, obey it. There is no difference of him. When your man say don't do this, what you need to do, whatever you have in your brain, go and say, oh, please, what I have, can we do it this? But you say, no, I want this man. You are not doing it well. Oh, no, 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 no. We are not getting But I know our leaders, 100 men, and if you are not ready to follow the structure of IPDB, you quietly move out. We are not, they are not telling you that you must. Just when you can. can Mazi, I think we have gotten your point. It seems your, your destiny is connecting. Thank you very much for that. Thank you very much. For this caller, I have a caller. I I I have a call on WhatsApp. Hold on, but you are the person disturbing me. Disturbing me when I was um, but uh, I will see. Caller on signal, please. Welcome to the program. Go on, please. Caller on signal. Mazi, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mazi. Can you hear me? Yes, the whole world is hearing you. Please go on. Okay, Mazi Jonathan. Good evening from here. Um, it's your brother Mazi Akas. I'm calling from Austria. I'm by the special grace of Elohim to go to I am the IPOP National PRO. Mazi, please uh, let me go straight to make this announcement that are so important to us here. Um, fellow Biafrans, lovers of freedom, I uh, with the IPOP Austria once again inviting you to our voted or mega rally we are having on 20th of this month in Vienna. Mm -hmm the capital of Austria, Vienna. We are inviting all our brothers and sisters from Modudua, our Ambazonian brothers and sisters, please, to come and join us on 20th in Vienna. Um, we are protesting for the release of Ali Dumadin Nandikano. If you love him, and if you know that the fight he's fighting is what you support, please, we want to see you on Vienna on 20th. And we are asking all the zona coordinators to make sure that you begin to let your, your, your members know that we must take free from a working place. It is an obligation that we must achieve. To make sure you take free from your working place, all road lead to Vienna on 20th. Because our leader, Mazen Nandekan, will be appearing in court on 21st. We want to let the Austrian government and the world know that our leader, Leader is coming to court, and their eyes should be on Nigerian government for the evil they, want, they, they are about to commit on their own self that particular day. So, where we are protesting is in in British Embassy and also in Zoological Republic Embassy in Vienna. Our meeting point is 
Schwartenbergplatz, 3rd District, Vienna. I repeat, Schwartenbergplatz, 3rd District, Vienna. Please, time is 10 o'clock in the morning, 10 a.m. in the morning. We are inviting you, please, and as you come, may Elohim to go I bless you and bless your household. This announcement is coming from our national coordinator, Mazi Onwumere, and his deputy, Mazi Nweke. Uh, Mazi Jonathan, thank you so much for bringing this topic this evening, this night from here, um, concerning discipline. This is what Mazi and they kind of have taught us, the, the Ipobians, how to be disciplined and how to obey command and control. And it has been working since he found this of big, big almighty organization that is fighting for the liberation of our own people. Please, I am begging. I am begging in the name of people, Kabiyama. If you know that you cannot be able to obey the instruction and the rules and regulation that our leader has laid down for IPOB, please get out of IPOB. This COVID-19 IPOB that is coming into us to come and cause trouble, in the name you are part of us, and you know your 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 games and your objective, what you have in your mind coming to IPOB is to come and destroy. Most of them have collected money from the zoo government, come in in, in IPOB, try to donate money as if we've we've donated the hood. We don't care about your hood. before before um um uh, of the rice, I had a temple share. He has been surviving. Even if it's 1111 euro we are contributing, it will lead IPOB where we are going to. We don't care about your billion or about your billion you will give to us, and at the end of the day, you want to come here and call promotion. Please get away out of IPOB if you don't want to obey the rules. The rules is very simple. Mazin Nam, the kind of the supreme leader, GOS, those working with him, if it's not there, GOS will take place. If you know that this time our leader Martin now the time has been renditioned from, from Kenya to the zoo, that very soon by the special grace of God is coming out to join us. If you know you cannot obey DOS, get away from IPOP. Those of you issuing command in the name of IPOP and Martin now the time, you are committing crime and by the time our hands will lay on you, we will pay very dearly. Go and tell who sent you that this is IPOP. Because we are whiter than white and whiter than snow. We know you and we are recording everything you are doing. When the time comes, we will ask you. We accept everything you are doing, all your speech, everything you do, it is in an archive. That when the time comes, we will touch you. And we are not going to have mess upon you. We will hang every one of you in the middle tree in your, in your father compound. So that those who someone when we hang you, we learn. How to obey rules and regulations. You cannot come to IPOB and cause commotion. I will keep quiet. Who are watching all of you? Don't call it. I love my name. But you cannot lose the instru instruction or the, 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 the structure you put, uh, put at, the, uh, at the place. If you love my name, you must love DOS. You That's must not say, say I, I will respect what my name can say. And you will, and you will respect, respect what the people my name can respect the DOS. Thank you. We Martin. respect them. We put them there for them to carry out duties. Our people should be very careful. Marzi, thank you for giving me this opportunity, my brother. Thank you, Marzi. Yes. Marzi, Jonathan. Yes, Mazi, good evening from the African land. May Chukwu Zika Biyama, that lives in heaven. May he continue to strengthen you for this good work that you are doing for us. That you are doing for our great nation, Biafra. And our leader, Mazi Namde Kano, the only man that said to Fulani, get away. You cannot take the meat from my own pot and you pass through the window and give me my own semi. Get away from my son. He is the only man. You are a madman. You cannot tell me in, in the Bugare court. You cannot tell me. Your brain capacity has not reached the stage to do what? To jail him. And Bugare did what? Bugare died. 
So I want to tell them those idiotic and mumutic governors in Biafra land that kidnap Mazen Nambekano because Mazen Jonathan, what is pending me so much is that our problem is the people. Mazen Jonathan, did you know that some of the people are behaving like the demonic politicians in our land? If you see some of our people, they are like behavior. Mazen Jonathan, what I'm telling you is here. If you see some of our people, when you see them, the ordinary people or the ordinary citizens, you have seen the politicians. They don't have empathy. They don't have pity on their fellow black, on their fellow same brother. They will see, you will see somebody from Iwata, some somebody from Enugu, that is, his own name is uh, Chukwemeka, the other one is Chukwemeka. He will say his own Chukwemeka is from River State, this one is from Enugu. Matthew Jonathan, can you see? That is the reason why Fulani, because I'm saying this, I used to say this in our platform sometimes. Matthew Jonathan, before I continue, my name is Michael Israel, calling you from the Holy Land of Biafra. So what I'm saying is this, this unity that Fulani see is I in, in us. That is why they are doing what they are, are doing, coupled with the cowardice in our people, and you look at now, Mazi Jonathan, you know you are talking of discipline tonight. Some of our people, we are not disciplined, not to talk of lawyers. Because Mazi Jonathan, do you know why? What I'm trying to say is that ordinary to listen to this, our FM, listening to Radio Biafra, Mazi Jonathan, you will see some of our people, when you are listening, even they will, even, they will be laughing at you. They will, they will call you all sort of names. They will, they will tell you, go and, go and look for money. Get your ego. That is what they will tell you. Because why? They are not disciplined. They are not loyal. Because somebody said, was trying to say to, to tell you, thinking that it was just only in IPOB. No, it is a general problem in the Biafran people, it is a general problem in the Igbo people. We are not disciplined enough because, and we are supposed to be, to, to be disciplined by now. Because Mazin Nambekano has been preaching about this discipline. Why is it that, is the, why is it, Mazin Nambekano, before I drop, why is it like this thing that Mazin Nambekano, Martin and the Cardinal have been preaching all these all this years. He's not entering it because our people are not listening. Martin Jonathan, did you know that when they were killing people in Iwata, in Obibo, there are the same people in Iwata because we are in Iwata. The same people in Iwata, they don't know that they were killing their own brothers. Their own brothers, even in Obibo. But our FM was right there, protested. For people who couldn't even listen because why? We are not disciplined and lawyer. This is what we lack. And we need to restore this, this discipline. We must be disciplined by force. By, by prayer, by force. We must be disciplined. I will stop here. Thank you. There will. Thank you. We, you know, discipline is forced. I don't know. Anyway, I'll talk about it. Discipline is infused by force. You don't beg people to be disciplined. You punish offenders now, others will be disciplined by force. That is why. After every revolution, as I said, I continue maintaining, there will rise up a good dictator in order to enforce the law of that revolution. Because this, you build the discipline in people. It's just like uh, in a family. You have a your baby. From baby, you start talking to to him or her. Things to do and things not to do. From two years, there are things you will do. You just spank her on you know on the ass, or just to make her know that what she did is not good. That is discipline. You are training her her up on discipline. That is the way we you know Nigeria has scattered our 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 way of lives. As I say, I was a in Keketori. On your Megide Megide, no Wambo, Choego, Rala, Walaga, Lawa, Bodoibo. On your car, man, you know, anyhow, start a business, you know, a dogama. 
e si fula ni buri ya no gun awo sa ya won aro na ogbala ha ya bi doko ni si ya lota ya bi doko ni si cha lo gere cho nke you know just like that i wear that it is a way of life so there is nothing no structure that is controlling us no discipline no structure or to be disciplined or loyal to that is the problem it is a very, that is why you know sometimes i look at what is happening i say look it's our way so we it needs it needs great you know it needs time in order to force us to do the right thing i say force forcing if you understand me it to do the right thing and it's coming call her on what's up welcome to the program please call her on signal i'll come to you call her on what's up welcome to the program can you hear me thank you very much Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear me? Loud and clear, Mas Jonathan. Good evening. Welcome to the program. Please go on. Mas Jonathan, I want to be very brief and I'll go straight to the point. Based on the topic you're discussing this night, I really come down to evaluate and think because what makes us a human being is the ability to reason. And unfortunately for our people, of our people do not reason any longer. Now, let's look at it this way. Many people who join what is happening today, many people who join what Mazen Namdekalu is doing today, came and joined because there was a structure on ground. And before Mazen Namdekalu came, there were other structures, but those structures were not functioning. But he set up a structure that was functioning, which made so many persons who were speaking right of him later speaking well of him and they joined the structure now some persons who joined lately thought in a hurry Mazen Namdekano was not the only person who made this structure success or succeed the setting up of ESN was it Mazen Namdekano that came back to the zoo and set up ESN that means there are who are working with Mazen Namdekalu, who are loyal to him. Of course. His face, who, he, who are not You don't, you don't even hear their name. You don't like even know, know them. Who are working. You don't know them. But these persons, due to their loyalty, they do not want to do their to the move. They are loyal to Mazen Namdekalu. What they want is to do. Mazen Namdekalu gives order and they obey. That is a clear indication of what is loyalty. They are not after praises. They don't want praises like Uche for. Sorry to say I have to make the name. But there are people who are working tirelessly. Their name are not even mentioned. Their pictures are not even... They don't know, know their face. They are loyal to Marzi. And all the praises goes to Marzi because he was the... He was the who instituted that structure. Now come a person who Marzi is still living. And you are trying to... And people are telling you you are, you are, you are another Marzi in Nambikalo. And you are willingly accepting that praise. That even Mazen Namdekalu, when you tell him okay, that he's not the one doing it, that Chuko Kabiyama sent him to do it. That is to say, he is hopeful enough, even telling you that when Biafra comes, he is not coming out to take any political office. That he wants to show our people what self-sacrifice means. And there are people here now who are ready, who are collecting praises, who are even willing to be president. And, and our people to the ability to well they are class doing such a person then tomorrow if unfortunately this same person hangs up somewhere they will still get another lead and we continue the same idiotic way of life to the next generation the leadership of, of dos they should they should never coward into all this uh, uh talk that people are in this side talk be focused let them be focused I'm telling the leadership of you be focused. Your objective and your destination, the red line is Biafra and referendum. And the, let Mazen Namdekalo be released unconditionally. That is, a, that is your deadline. And that is your deadline. And why you are fighting for. Okay, look at it now. The people we are talking about, somebody will come out and start talking about sit at home. Woman, Mazen Namdekalo says our people, they can't do what they can. Ibru Hagalil, Hasegi Ibru Hagalil, Ibru Hagalil, Hasegi Ibru Hagalil. If you are not telling them what they are doing, they say you are not telling them. If you start telling them, they say, why are you telling them on social media? That is the way our people reason. But now, 
to realize that these people talking yapping rubbish and talking against DOS, who brought the idea of sitting at home? Is it not the same DOS that you are condemning? You, you are talking against them, and they are the same people who put this stupid this idea that you are not that it, so. Okay, you would have this idea. Why didn't you bring the idea from the day to the mass? You were waiting for DOS to bring an idea, and they brought an idea, and now people hijack that idea. So, end of the day. National communities will say that Mazen Namukalo is a terrorist and he's building a terrorist organization, and then they are there. They are getting happy. The DOS was smart and okay, now we cut it off. Now, the people on their own initiative said, okay, we want to continue. And they, listening to Mazi Chike Dozium, he said, anytime you are partaking of subjugating people and making people suffer, when the people rise against you, don't say it's IBOB. Don't say it's that shipo. That is the way. Ndi dara skulo ehesi abawa. But our people idiotic to look at how can you as a patala social media na aba. See that all hammer and car. Everyone want to have a hands on how good you are. Well, why are people are so stupid? Then somebody, if you feel that you are jagaban and you are everything, you've worked as a military in Finland, and unfortunately you are a you are a dumb, as you said. You bring your troops down to Zombie. What is in Zombie? You come there, you engage them. Not talking, what exposition are you doing in social media that Mazi has never done to people? And we have seen it clearly with our before our eyes. There that this is a fraud. Please stand up. There we Mazi, Mazi Jonathan, please. I am begging our people. Let us not destroy this this this, no this person, ship Marzi, no this nobody can destroy map. nobody can destroy a pub a pub this is a, <laughs> a movement uh, uh, you know foundation on um, a solid rock no person thank you very much Marzi. keep it up Marzi. thank you man there well thank we, you uh, hello hello man yes please we do not hate anybody let it let us know let our people also know we do not nobody hate anybody the love for mazen namdekalo and the love that these guys have for their friends that was the reason they have been following mazen and loyal to him to help our people go back to their promised land this is the point let us not on this one let us not think if dos is fighting for leadership there is no leadership that dos is fighting for because nobody even knows the whole in person. Thank you, man. So Thank somebody you. is talking about they are fighting for leadership. Thank you. That is. Uh, I want it to be very clear. Let us know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, man. There we go. The DOS HOD with uh, the two other DOS members will be coming here tomorrow, so uh, everything will be clarified. It, is, it will be interactive se session. Colin, what's up? Hold on. I have Colin Signal that has been here since 13, 13 minutes. Colin Signal, welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Ne welcome, ne welcome to the program. Thanks for holding on. Ne 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 we will always be here. Uh, my name is George Ijuku. I'm calling from United Kingdom. And I serve as a civil ser as, as a principal servant of indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of a North London zone coordinator. Mas Jonathan in there well, um and he called yesterday when um when that woman called from that Madame Bridget called from America, I think after I spoke he called in. Because there's one thing that's playing in here. Majority of us are not actually schooled properly. And we are the real, I'm not saying we are real students of Radio Biafra. Because in this struggle, um, like I said, everybody's a suspect until Biafra is restored and beyond. And uh, I owe no apology to that. Having said that, um, as you know, um, your, 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 like you, came, you hit the nail on the head. You talk about your loyalty, your allegiance, and your patriotism. Why? All these three words brought us down to people that are cultured that you must be within the ambit of law in wherever you found yourself even in your household if you have children you have to lay down principle in your home they are most guiding to become a person they are and 
that's how we are brought up because those that have a, a, actually a solid background of wouldn't be questioning when they give them you know instructions i have suggested united kingdom as all these bickerings and argument you know what kills it our code of conduct let me say this people don't know our code of conduct came to light in 2019 we have been practicing command and control verbally because of spirit of biafra you know convoluted all of us you know what i mean and we have this commentary that people cannot understand what it is because for you to be an ipob member like our guest says is a privilege but let me tell you what is happening this word loyalty is priceless and that is why you see soldiers wake up and go to war with that did we know when iraqi on when they went to war in afghanistan and iraq they told us it's my it's, let me give it and give it and give it you know bush and tony and tony Blair told their citizens and the war that that was a that was a that was a, 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 a weapon of my destruction that were going to destroy but do you know why the soldier has gone to that war because they have sworn oath of allegiance and loyalty of patriotism they don't ask question when you've been command to do something and i wanted to have said time with that number ipob is a quasi military system people must take this home my brother we will come down on our level to explain to our people because now these people have been starved do you know what pentecostal church have done to our people's mentality for the past 25 30 years they come on board these people that destroyed our mindset and our common sense that people have to live by what someone told you someone is giving you hope as i was talking right now people are on night with jail so people are supposed to go to work tomorrow to pray for better tomorrow and you contribute the last thing you have in your pocket why would you resist why would you think straight so come back to what will happen in ipob right now these individuals that just jumped into ipob into the COVID, our leader is a man that because if you couldn't go across board, you didn't know all these things. You know these things will happen. He said it time with that number. He wouldn't interview. It doesn't matter where he is. That Biafra must be restored. Whether he's dead or alive, what does that mean? He had a lay down guidelines and principle that hold that POV. And he have said, and I'll quote, he said it would take 150 years for any man to penetrate the structure of IPOB. My brother Jonathan, if you listen to Madame Bridget Bocal for yesterday, and today, I Peters and our, our two veterans and Mazalos they was being kind to speak to this woman to throw light. But if you listen to all the interviews she has gone through, she's not making any sense. What we are seeing here, these people come into IPOB with the mentality of ego cultural, you know, organization with ego union mentality. When you come these that us up high philanthropist, we not have no concern about what you have done in your village. This is a freedom fighting. None they cannot have given everything a man could give, give it to his parents. They have given none lives here. Onion do onion is a British citizen. He could have anything he want. He's a consultant. He give which of us said onion do was sleeping in his car because of this little bit of fire mountain today. How come people telling me and somebody sitting somewhere telling us that they asked him to give up his uh his Facebook platform? Maze, Maze, he cannot Maze, can I come in here? You know, you know our people are sentimental. So um, they use sentiment to manipulate our people. I, if I come here now, I talk, I give up my background or how this and that. I, you know, you see some people that will fall. Oh, oh, Mazi Jonathan, eh, oh, oh, that is is a kind of brain manipulation. You know, people don't know that we are. You, when you speak on Radio Biafra, you are talking to boots. My, even in DG, in DG mind came he didn't, they are there listening but you are talking to both lions and elephants and uh, even spirits so that is why you know we should be careful when we speak here on radio Biafra. <laughs> i understand what you mean go on please um, um i don't mean to disrespect her because you see uh, she's a grandmother if i could put it that way but the woman need to be cautioned um, she asked our woman leader something we must we must categorically stretch forward here is that you are a woman leader within IPOB. Our leader encourage you to encourage IPOB to you to coordinate them. But that does not give you the right to do anything outside IPOB structure. This must be spelled. And all these things come down to our code of conduct. I made it up. I spoke to my deputy today and said, on our soul, we must make it a mandatory. Anytime we come to meeting, we must read our code of conduct from A to C. I don't care if it's the only thing we did that everybody goes home, right? Because 
reason why we're starving with information is that we have the information, but when you say, if you want to hide something from a black man, put it in writing. I bet you, even some principal officers have not read that code of conduct and know the main content of code of conduct. I'm telling you, they don't know. Because some of us cannot even sign a relational act and off act. So the margin of code of conduct, that, or how many paragraphs that it is. So now, these women, yeah, no disrespect. I said it today when I called this morning to IPT. They are our mothers. And uh, please, we don't uh, mean please, to say that our mothers are not generalize, 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 please. It's the, okay. this thing, anything that is happening is just uh, maybe one or two people, you know. Even Madam Bridget was not even mentioned, you know, all those things, you know. So, um, I don't know. But it's not general, you know. We should not generalize. You know, there are just few people that cause problems and uh, one of them expelled and that's it. You know. Go on, uh, okay, okay, you know, okay. I, 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 will, I, will, I will move on from the mass general But what I'm just saying, I'm just throwing lines on the way we should go because I think there's a confusion here being people not understand the structure of IPOB properly being that they believe that everything has to go through Onyendu but what I said if you are if you are reporting to Onyendu when Onyendu was here uh, and now Onyendu is not here who do you report to simple as that in IPOB structure you go back to DOS right because even in that topic there's something he said today that oh my citizen is not in charge we can't be saying all these things on air within you if those that if those your subordinates, you know, acting on what you said, you have to put them in writing and report to who you're supposed to report to. So this is exactly what I'm saying. Or based on what you said, the loyalty and our allegiance, who do we hold you to? We hold you to the indigenous people of Biafra because we all of us have sworn oath. Those that have sworn oath knows that your allegiance, that's why we have oath of allegiance. And your loyalty is unconditional. Whether our leaders are with us or not with us, you must obey because that is loyalty. Loyalty, it cannot, it cannot just go into the law, you know, on the country you live because of maybe the president is, is there or because of the governor is there. It has been said that this is what everybody must do. So we all must act upon what IPOB, you know, command and control now is on paper we call code of conduct. This is what I'm asking everybody to do. I'm going forward. I think we are getting there. But the only thing is this. If somebody have questions, what you need to do, go down to those who think they know with that. And most of all, our people should be endeavoured to listen to more of Radio Biafra instead of listening to gossip. Because somebody cannot be in their own comfort zone like I'm in my house right now and saying things that I me without even knowing the consequences. Just like the sit at home going on. Amnesty International have put a, have put a, 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 you know, a report about how IPOB has been trying to force people to sit, at, sit back at home and violence going on in our land. But that is IPOB have suspended this officially. Now, the people have decided to sit at home. It's not your view to comment on them, to force them. We must follow what IPOB leadership is. IPOB leadership is one overseeing everything happening. The that happened, the thing that was reported by IPOB leadership, I already made it categorically that was suspended it based on what only wants. And that's what we are doing. But if our people have decided to sit back home, fair enough, that's the validation of IPOB because the idea came from the leadership of IPOB to DOS. But some people now are making it as if it's a jingle. It is not your idea, just like your previous scholar have said. But we must understand, like you said, our loyalty and our allegiance and our patriotism must be upon the boat and we to restore Biafra. And are we ready? Because we have, like you said, we're watching the ground. If we are not disciplined, that is why in IPOB, discipline, irrecipline is not, is, not, is not accommodative in IPOB because we cannot replicate where we run away from. Are we going to go back and do the same thing we have done before? So from now we have to practice the new nation we want to, you know, you, more. like when you say, you know, we don't want to replicate any other East African country. Uh, Mr. Jonathan, I just want to announce one thing quickly. Uh, United Kingdom here, we'll be having our lorry on the twenty fourth, the day when is going to court, and it was going to start on eight, uh, eight, eight o'clock in the morning. We're going to be assembling in uh, number ten down in street. From there, we're going to the Commonwealth. From Commonwealth, we're going to go to Kenya Embassy. You know, so please, everyone find themselves in UK and those residing within uh, Greater London, please endeavor to come out. This is a very pivotal for all of us to march, support our leader, show that solidarity, film and the on 24th of uh, October. Thank you, Marzi, for giving me this opportunity. And uh, Chuku Okabia, my bless every single one of us. This time is when we need ourselves together. People must obey and complain later. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Remain blessed. Thank you. Caller on WhatsApp. Thank you for holding on. Caller on WhatsApp.
please stop by giving us your yeah, name and where you're calling from. Can you hear me? Call on what's up. Yeah, good evening, Mazi Jonathan. Welcome um, to the program. Mazi, I I listened to the topic tonight and it's a great one, and then I I, I appreciate your good work. Uh, but uh, I have a serious concern which I would like to air my own view, and then pass a message to the DOS so that they should tread with caution. This is just. Just barely three months, our leader was transitioned from Kenya to Nigeria, and then uh, a lot of things are coming up. Uh, to leader, you should tell, he, he should carry people along. Um, he should not be using the MP hammer, hammer, hammer spell, spell. If I feel big, you can't enforce like uh, when Mazu uh, Hamadi was A lot of people overlook whatever he. I would give him that he worked for it for years. He built that trust. So if you're a leader, you should try and make prove yourself that people will never last and believe that you are doing the right thing to carry them along. There's nothing you can you can nobody can be not can so nobody could uh, said that uh, who will follow him cheaply like a nanny can Mazi, Mazi, let me yeah, come here. Mazi, Mazi, hold on here. here. Excuse me, can you hear me? Yeah. I hope you are not yeah, yeah. using earpiece. Are you? No, I mean, uh, let me pick it up from uh, for, uh, Can you hear me? Okay, it's better. Now, um, am I clear now? Yeah. Yes, mm. yes. Let me let me let me say this. Even Mazin Namdekano, there is a statement you made which is very wrong. He said nobody can follow this as uh, as stupidly as we are following Mazin Namdekano. Nobody is following Mazin Namdekano. No, I said, I said Wait, no, no, please, no, no, please, no, please said, allow no, me. Can you no, allow me? No, you me. Uh, can it, you allow okay. me to make my point? I allowed you. If you can, if you don't want to okay. allow me, I'm not a guy. Yeah. I'll just off you. I take another call. I don't have that time to okay. waste. Please, yeah. I have the microphone. So if I tell you wait, you wait. That's it. So, what I'm saying, I have what you say about a uh, hitting hammer or this and that. That is what I cannot understand. When you say that we are, we are not following even Mazin Namdekalu stupidly. We are not stupid. But because of the truth he preached, and we saw him tested and trusted, and we understand our focus, what we are saying is obeying the structure, yes. being disciplined. Do you understand? There are some yes. words, you don't use it on, on, on A following stupidly I, I if will you know that let, if wait, you let me on that I will draw. that was what I meant no okay. I don't I don't have time to waste on I'm not that type of uh, patient uh, what I want what I'm saying there are people listen when you say that we are following Namdekano stupidly you are very wrong you are not even you are not even for here we follow him out of we have tested him and trusted him that is the thing nobody is uh, trying to what i what we are saying is okay you that are in finland are you there stupidly obeying the law you know our people sometimes our people you are you are enjoying because you are loyal to the system there are places you cannot go with a, a engine i mean with a, 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 a carbon emission emission the um, uh, 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 i mean engines like a motor or motorcycle and you respect it that is being disciplined and loyal if you don't do it they will force you to do it by either finding you or putting you to jail that is it so it's not about being stupid or about being hammer but about loyalty and discipline that is the core thing the core the core without it we are all we are doing is anarchy nothing more so that is the issue, please. If you call me here, I'm not that type of person that have that. Uh, if you speak, I tell you, I will allow you to speak. Allow me to make my own point too. I have the microphone. I am having it. It doesn't take me to go to Panyatu. I'll just press it and you off. You, uh, uh, it doesn't, I don't care. But if you want us to, uh, you know, if you speak i tell you please wait let me now you listen 
I will give you time to make your own point. But listen to me. We are not here on air to argue. It's discussion. Civilized discussion. That is it. Caller on WhatsApp. I mean, um, Signal. Welcome to the program. Caller on Signal. Can you hear me? Caller on Signal. Are you there? You have been there. Caller on Signal. Are you there? Are you there? I've seen your name. My goodness. Me. Let me pick a caller on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp, can you hear yes, me? Yes, I'm here. I'm here. I'm hearing you, my brother. I'm hearing you. Welcome so when people court. say that uh, uh, you have to carry Please, can you introduce yourself? Maz, introduce yourself. I Maz, can you hear you? me? Please start afresh. Introduce yourself, please. Okay, all right. My name is Mazi Chine Merem Obinku. I hear from Abadia and Wangle local government, Biafra land. Your topic today is discipline. Mazi, you know, when people talk, say, when people, I hear people say eh, how to carry people along. Mazi, do you remember what happened when Moses went to go and take the Ten Commandments? Is the people that uh, forced Aaron to build grave him, uh, goats and uh, idol for them. This is what they want us to do. Many people want to mold the, the image. Do you know? That? Mazi, are you still there? Our people like Karosin. Karosin can talk okay, me here. Before Mazi and the Karo come out, they have spoiled everything. That is their aim. But you. Hello? That is network. So, they, 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 try, they try to mold idols. The Biafra land that can never, never happen. When you don't have a structure, it means that we are, we are just, we are just bringing a Chinese slave here. Let people go and see that. If you don't know what you, anybody who doesn't know what is Biafra, let him go inside and stay. When Biafra come, you come and you come and enjoy. That is the problem. When you, when you don't know what you what you do go on. some people have their selfish interest in this thing and they are going to fall you have to carry everybody out carry what is it not people that leave Aaron to the idol for them now our director is so weird time we are supposed to, to put strategies to bring a uh, director yeah we Maz, your your connection is is too weak. I don't know, which is abnormal for you. They are talk, talk, talking. The, yeah, this person will be here. This person will be here. They rubbish. What is that? Uh, why you people love to love moves? You know, so, Maz, 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 Jonathan. May the him bless you. You see this different restoration. This is the kingdom of God that people doesn't know it. Many people will go down. Many, many people will go down. Many people will run out. Mazi, I'm not afraid of what is going on. I am prepared because Mazi Nandikal is not an ordinary human being. It's a, there is a sign that follow this man. When this man, they arrested this man before. Moon, rainbow, and star, and the sun in the in the in the in the bright day by two o'clock, one o'clock. Is it ordinary thing? Mazi, may him bless you. May Lord bless you. Therefore, I say, the kingdom of God, nobody will stop it. God bless of you. Of course, and you too. Thank you very much, my brother. We must continue. Let me try to pick this caller on direct line. Caller on direct line. Can you hear me? Caller on direct line. Welcome to the program. Caller on um. Oh, is the line caught? I don't know. Caller on signal. Can you hear me? Caller on signal. Sorry, let me pick this call on direct line again, please. Call on direct line. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, call on direct Hello? line. Okay. Good evening. Jonathan. Welcome to the program. There we Okay. There we go. Um, this is the topic behind my little suggestion is this thing started from these few women in the US. 
one is off. You remain about one year or two. People will say they are fighting Simon Eber. Simon Eber doesn't want to be lawyer. Nobody is fighting him. Uh, one other, please. He doesn't want to. Can you hear me, please? Hello? Uh, in yeah. Him, yeah. Can you hear me? I'm a man, okay. okay, okay. What I want, please, I don't want us to exhaust our energies mentioning people's names, you know, it becomes a top, you know, there is a danger that we are having in our land. Our leader is coming on air. I spoke about loyalty. I don't want this explicit mentioning of uh, names, it becomes a discussion. Okay. Place, okay. Eh? Yeah. Go okay. on, please. Go on. So, what I'm saying is this. Let them obey the OS. Everybody should obey the OS. That is where this problem comes. Some people are arguing with the OS. To me, any person that is arguing with the OS and disobeying the OS, they are disobeying and the Tano. So, but we have to know where this thing started. We had this uh, problem started. The people who sold our leader, they are the people coming out to accuse everybody in the OS. Everybody that is confused. The accounts they are talking in that uh, US, is it not this account they forge uh, our leader's signature to open? So let our people come back. All that is this that are not good. So that is my he said that I don't want to thank you. So me I will mention no, thank you. Please okay. the, the lady they are following you is the person who told this and the camera. No, oh, what we say here we don't you are talking to millions of people. You cannot come and yeah, I know. somebody I, that works. Say, no. Well, no, no, no. It's not. It's not normal. You don't accuse somebody without proof. That is what we do. You understand? So, no matter anyhow, that is it. Please, because people are listening. Yeah. It is not a, a two ways a discussion. Only you and I. No, but people are listening. So we should not do something or talk because of emotion. Which proof is different than with and with emotion with emotion i can speak can speak can speak it will sound wonderful but what is the proof that is it thank you ma Wada. thank you there were there were okay there were okay. caller on what do you call it signal Marzi, are you there now call on signal yes am i yes am it i seems coming you were, yes you before you were absent what happened uh, maybe it's network. Okay, go on, please, go on. Yeah, uh, okay, you mentioned my name already. Uh, you see, what you are talking about, the discipline and the other things, you know, you say, <coughs> you know, how you respond to the person that called that maybe you are following and the car or sheepishly or something. No, but now, my dear brother, we ask these people now, or any of them, what is the problem that you have the, with DOS? My dear, they say they are not doing it well. Now, I want to ask, you know, no, so now, they want, they want to present us the people that is above mistake. Oh, what they are thinking? Who is above? Are you saying it to your for a little It's not above me. Of us that are thinking that we are moving, this is what I respond to most because our, the, we are of uh, any Amazonia is smacking people, people we hit down there. Yes, is there, you know what? They live their own. You know, this is what we jam them. Is that, that mentality, man, we need to stop that sort of mentality because it's something that we. We weighing us back. Stand at your own. Something like us, you know, talking, maybe millions, will be waiting 
to hear that one day like this, even though it's not even to their tone, but one day the person that they expect to come, we will come and take over the mic and still talking, we move on. So this is what we are people going to learn. It's not something that we start moving. Nobody is above and not anybody that come at this. So there is only me or with my group with that this structure here and telling you they're going to give you Biafra. Fa 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 it's pure lie. I'm telling you the honestly speaking. That's why the the attack is getting too much all corners, including the ones that you keep trust on them. They they will not telling you all sorts of English and the Christianity where they belong. I don't know. We 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 are Biafra. We are Biafra. And here we worship. Mazi keep it on. God bless you. There were Can you see your Remember blessed. I have a caller, yes, on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear me? Caller on WhatsApp. Yes. Mazi, are you why not why not off your listening device, please? Mazi Chuku. Yes. When you're not here, in 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 here, let me go stretch for the topic today. This is Vijay Okaf make a statement yesterday in Alozie and today in Ipitas. The woman spoke very well to explain what is going on in America. For me, I try to understand what is happening. The way there is no misinformation. When the information is going as as speed as possible, so many things will be correct before it is too late. This one, this one, make a statement. There is two women in America that sit down in the IPOB money that we have informed. DOS about these two women that sit down on IPOB money is very clear. I heard it. That is number one. Even before our leader was was uh, rendition, uh, rendition. arrested rendition. or redemption, our leader said he mentioned about two women that hold IPOB money. These two men, no Kenko, and the, the other man, I, I, I just forget his name. What I'm trying to say on this is this. The DOS come up to find a solution if these people will take to court in America to make sure that this money will recover, if we continue doing the same thing like Nigeria in IPOP, that anybody that get money is in his position, they will trap it and we leave, we leave it and looking for another one. It, it will hurt everybody. Let them come up as they are coming up tomorrow. What are they going to the strategies that they will put up? No careful and the Zumba in America. And these two women are also in America. They must to treat this case is very, very important because money is key of everything. Okay, let me go to Fukan, Fulani uh, Christian Association. 
of this thing I think yesterday uh, yes, before they have hijacked uh, yes. yes yes you see this thing no full and is a crit there number one there's nothing like a full and Christian at least in this Nigeria. is Takia in Nigeria if there is no uh, uh, Christian Fulani in Nigeria, the same thing we will not see it in any other place. I think their frame is something they will use as a care to deceive all these useless people in the name of religion in Nigeria, especially the car, the Christian association. You will be surprised that somebody will come into church. I say praise the Lord. God have arrested the Fulanis. They are Christian. It will happen. Mas, it will happen. <laughs> Mas, it, uh, Mas, it just, just watch. It will happen. <laughs> Our people are deceived by this, I very light brand. This, That's it. This, this group of people are, are animals in the human being. Sometimes I try to I try to myself. Suppose if Namdi Kano is not around for another ten years, what to be the end of number one Igbo man, number two Nigeria? Kofula need have useless Nigeria to the zero level. Look at what is happening in Nigeria. Some Igbo Nigeria. With Facebook, cascading them, they cascading IPOB, destroying themselves, forgetting about that all of them are in many countries of the whole world because Nigeria is not working. Nigeria, they are safe in Nigeria. They travel to America, they travel to China, they travel to uh, Europe everywhere. And they still remain slaves inside that place. Don't know they are slaves. After they fail you, they are slaves. They cannot support their own so that they will be a human being. If 2021, you are refugee, you, you are slave in a you don't know. But the white people know this. You are slave in Europe. You don't know. The white people know this. And no, no. For those people you are in their place, no, you are in safety. Because they have been hearing this good news from Radio Biafra, from Namdekano. And they know that Namdekano is doing the right thing. Namdekano is trying to open the, the brain of Igbo people of one Nigeria into the extent of Africa. They don't know. They are this they are destroying their their you know their feet. When you are castigating the canon, you are castigating your future. How many days do you say you die? Where is your children going? Any of our people don't know what is going to happen to you. Because when you are any country you are, you marry a wife again, yeah. you want to try. When you die, that your children will end up anywhere. It will not trace out where you come from. And that is the end. Our leader has said all these things. I'm sorry that some people don't know what is going to happen to them. That is why they are attacking at you. So what am I saying? It is better the DOS quickly treat this case. Let a panel set up immediately to find out these two women that sit on, on IPOB morning. And the more came from and those Zumba in America. Take them to court so that these criminals will be disgraced. Thereby, people will start being afraid. I tell you, a money that any idiot like Nigeria start to behave like Nigeria. This is what we are we, we trying to pull us from every country. But now they are playing it in America. Just imagine. See money that you you people are using. To liberate you from, from bondage, yeah. some people will sit on it. You leave it to look for another one. What, what, what type of nonsense? 
Let me stop here. I think I will wait tomorrow. If I were, if I have the chance tomorrow, it's like of course, of course, tomorrow you you have to call and ask the question. There, well, thank you very much. The most, most, the most come out with turn of covering this month. Of course, it's hard. There, well, forward. There, well, there, well, thank you. Um, I think I'll pick one or two calls now because I need to air an address by. It's supposed to be live. Uh, by um, Ambazonian leader to be friends. So I will pick one or two calls now, which I'm having. Caller on what's up? Hold on, I have because I have a caller on uh, signal. Caller on signal. You have been waiting since six minutes or seven minutes now. Can you hear me? Caller on signal. Yeah. No, I and good afternoon. And then we are all times home. I I I uh, please, uh, don't, don't give uh, some people that when they call to make a comment and they started hearing from the right way because they are talking to millions and, and millions of people. Why must they keep on talking and talking what will cause problems? Now, we are not talking about any other thing. We are talking about our freedom. We are not talking about any against any bank. Now, listen. Of course, you're right. So, for that issue, anybody that calls us today, that calls me, please, 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 the person call. Because it do cost me to, it do have GP. Because when some people call the boat, Calling, just and calling. They'll be talking as if that they, they, don't, they don't know how to speak English. Or they'll be talking as if they don't have understanding. But must you come to this not on, on the point? You talk about it tonight. Then somebody who's uh, who have understanding supposed to go straight to the point. What we need this time is information. We don't need complaints. This information on what is happening on your domain. Give information to the people. What will they bring to the one way or the other? Please, my fellow Japan, wherever you are, anybody in the world, what we are trying to let you know now is that my own information there now is that all I mean, I got this information two days ago, and this evening, this night, I got another information that what I spoke last time to you, my Jonathan. You were telling me that it was old content. I want to let you know now that that thing is not that but they have now revived it now to carry that very, uh, to carry that now at, uh, at the state here and the border of the border of the state and the, and the, and the, and the state here. I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, uh, the border state for, uh, between uh, uh, the axis of, uh, of, uh, of the, the, between the um, after or town, uh, between that area of the uh, Isa and the rest of them, those areas they must like, they send some soldiers, group of soldiers to that community, and they ask them that they should drop anything concerning the ammunition they have. They take the search. So I was saying this in the other day, nobody understood what I was saying. But what I want to let you know now is that I'm 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 alerting you now. Know it now that there is a problem all over Japan land now. Even tonight, there is a clip I'm, I sent to you, Jonathan, now. I'm sending it to you again. I will send it. There is a clip I'm sending to you. I will send it. And uh, so, that thing, this very clip I sent to you, is the like information at uh, one, uh, uh, one place at um, Umuze. Umuze. Umuze, the same trailer of Nigerian soldiers. There. 
Then as they enter there, they enter there in, uh, to the compound of one one house farmer that is living in that particular place, according to the information. So now they say that those people enter there now, taking it is there, and they pretend. Then the information around there that the book, everybody in that house is now has witnessed this, this number of people that are there. They do now to carry out their plans. So let people stop complaining of nonsense things. Let us be on our right point. What I'm saying now is this. Let this be here. Let everyone be at last. In the next state here, as I'm talking, people themselves and the rest of them. They guys themselves in many areas. We want to carry out those my best those 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 feelings. It must come for them to come. That is what I want to say tonight. And so on. I'm calling out I'm calling out God I'm calling out people of Portugal, Juma. I'm calling out people of course in the state. Wake up. The people that you are you are you get, you allow them to be at that run through at at a stand the road. That's a stand the road. Full of me are dead, they are made them and covering the whole land and waiting for that command. And when that command comes, you will see the whole area there will be will be beheaded. Nobody will live there, nobody will stay there. They have conquered that area. So what I'm saying, the people of course that state, especially the people of Boki, uh, uh, San Kola local government, uh, um, the people of, of San Kola local government, I'm um, um, let the government local government I need to say. The government local government between that Boki East and the rest of them, please and please, those people that are sitting there, they are deadly. Don't ever allow them to even remain there again. Whatever you can do, do it to make sure that they get out of that place. That is what I want to let you know. Because if you don't do anything now, there will take an opportunity. Because from there, they have to return to Cameroon. From there, they enter Manfa. From there, they enter Manfa. And when Manfa is stuck back. So what am I telling you? I'm telling you now that there is a danger. So, you have had the program that we talk, we talk about for Radio Biafra concerning uh, uh, the cattle, evil cattle. Yes, and I encourage you to come up with that idea. That is a good, a good plan that everybody has brought. So embrace it and say no to anything concerning them. Say no to it. Let us be the man and brother. This is what the information I want to pass. To there you. Were. Thank you. God bless you. And you too. Thank you very much. I have a caller on WhatsApp. Oh, on WhatsApp. Caller on WhatsApp. Thank you for holding on. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. Caller on WhatsApp. Can Jonathan. You hear me? Yes, sir. Good morning over here, Dr. Jonathan. Welcome to the program. Some educate. Amen. Um, first and foremost, may God protect our leader and protect all our DOS and our radio presenter and all the genuine France. And let God disgrace those. I will start I will start like this. The first thing I will start with in anywhere I go or in any place we go, we should remember one thing. IPOB has structure. Structure to discipline. Nigeria don't have any structure. That's why when you are driving, you see people beating the traffic lights because there is no structure, because there is no discipline. Anybody drive and beat them. When the traffic light is showing red, you see people drive and pass. When you come to the bank, you will see somebody will come and bribe the cashier to, to, to jump the queue and come and collect money and go. And other people will be looking the person because Nigeria has no structure. IPOB has structure. Structure gives the bed, ideology gives the bed to our structure and everything. So any day you became a family member of IPOB and take oath and start. The day you sign to be in a military, is the day you sign your left hand and death. When you die, insurance is there for you. Our people should understand that thing and have it in mind. If our if our people Biafra uh, have somebody on the there could have been a problem everywhere. 
that will disgrace him and talk all manner of things. But do you know that the people has never even talked ill about him one day for not speaking English to the public. And the people will come out and support him that this is their dialect. But you cannot you see, see PhD in holders. Mas, you see PhD holders. Those that can that can command yes. English language supporting him. And he don't yes. uh, nah, I'm gonna so honestly. <laughs> go on, go on, please. Uh, you I'm you see, there are people there are people will protect him and tell you that their language their language senior the English language. And which is true. And which our own language is senior the English language. Then why will English language when we are discussing our issues, making ourselves inferior before every other person, which is very bad. You will see those people will be coming from everywhere. Nobody has castigated. Our people should have that in their mind. They should have that in their mind. They say no matter how, how the oracle is, you must carry it with the two hands. Or okay, the day you enter IPOB is the day you come out your degree. Is the day you come out every of your rank and hold that say before me and take that oath. No matter who you be, no matter who you be, that oath does not respect any person. It does not respect any person. That one go in anywhere you are today. Go with one word when you are in an organization or in a meeting. Try to understand one thing and take that in home. I love what happened yesterday. After everything with Mazia Lozier, he asked the woman, say, how, how can, how, what is the problem of this woman? The woman explained. He said, okay, that they will have a meeting that where they will settle this problem. That end. Everything will end. Everybody need Biafra, to me. Everything will do what end. The last thing I want to say, the last thing I want to say, two phase that saying that is coming, that every person should come out and come and vote in Anambara. I want to let him to know. When he planned protests, he ran away. After four days on that protest, he ran. He ran away. Since that time, he know that his fans dropped. We are the people that promoted you, make you who you are. I don't care whatever you be in your house. We buy your promote you with your cassettes. We come to your show, we write on your wall, we do everything. The money you have today are the ones that give it to you. You must respect us. All the celebrities, I'm just putting it because Two Face cannot come to our place to say he's coming to our place without our own celebrity that are hiding on that copy. That don't want to speak up, that don't want to speak up. I'm passing this warning to you. If you don't like your wife, from what is going on. Since our leader is there, I've never seen in your world where you come and write, release Mazen and the Kalo. You have been dumb since years. Since they stop you, you check from this. Don't come and start putting mouth if you don't know that we are crying for justice. Your own people from, from Otupa, your own people from Agatu, your own people from Otupo, your own people from Agala, your own people from uh, Ija, uh, Oyangede, your own people from everywhere are crying for justice. You have never been there. The last time I saw you, you were in Medugri, sharing palliative. You have never been palliative in Otupo. Oden, you are in Duaba. And you are in Ufa. And you are in Oden, and you are in Wanambra. And you are in Wanambra. Oden, and you are in Wanambra. 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 I stop here so far. God bless you. There you are. I am inching closer to ending the program, but I will take caller on WhatsApp. Can you hear? Oh, sorry, caller on signal. Caller on signal. What's up? Yo, I'm watching okay. Good. Yo, I'm what? watching okay. Good evening. Welcome to the program. Uh, may, God, may God bless you and bless all the principal officers in the IPOG worldwide. Uh, you uh, my name is my name is Maduburu Chuku. If men we are God. Oh, na Maduburu Chuku. I rock man. If men, we are God. I think uh, I saw you I calling on you... the other um, signal. Yeah, yeah, I saw yeah, it, but yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah, picking yeah. from that place because it disturbs the uh -huh, uh, line. Please. Oh, yeah. okay. Sorry, then I have to subtract from there. Uh, what you know, there is something that is happening to us that we really understand it, but to grab the issue where the, the, the mistake is coming out from, we find it a little bit difficult. 
we are having problem in IPOB is for those that think we have problem. We in IPOB. Our principal officers is up and doing to the standard of that those that are listening to the voice of Mazi in 2011 to 2015 before he went to prison. We are having problem now is from those who followed Mazi and from 250 when he came out from prison, taking that tomorrow Biafra is coming. These are the problem we are having in this family. If you want to be dancing to the tune of Mazin Nandekano, Nandekano said, follow me and obey the rules of command and control. Command and control, before he left, and what happens to him of recent, he said, the hour has come, God take care of your children and I guide our uh, children and guide our footsteps. He called the name of Maz Chike, Dozim, and other principal officers. If we can remember two, one, or, one and two buskers he didn't like before he left. We, in IPOB, from the 2011 12 when the broker started, we have those that came in 215, when he, 270 when he was released, they should please go back to our mass in the can, the can broke old podcast to understand the rules and regulation of what we are doing. Our problem now is to not to listen to DOS, but mass in the can told us listen and listen very carefully, obey the command before complain. You have to obey before complain. If the person is leading you where you don't want, obey him before you uh, complain. Why can't we do that? It's very easy. So when he comes out tomorrow and asks, why didn't you do that? He will not blame TK Dozium 100%. He will blame you that didn't obey TK Dozium. That is how it works. That is the way it works with him. If we understand him very well. When we had problem earlier before TK Dozio came in, I don't want to mention them. What he asked, what did he, he didn't say much about that. He only said, My people doesn't want to listen, they don't want to listen and obey the structure. Even if he's making a mistake, obey first before complain. Most of us, I don't say most of us, the, the newcomers in 2017 upwards are uh, mostly the problem we are having. Mostly, even my unit. They came in yesterday, they tried to change the narrative. Do what I say, do this, do that. It doesn't work that way. TK doesn't, and the other principal officers working with him, he struggled when we had problem 212, 215. In the whole of Europe, he has been the one officers guiding the rules on our the same thing happened again. The same position again. Person following him behind him, doing the same work. What he knows how to do very well. We should stop calling a man that is work. He's slow in speaking. Yes, we agree. But in action, nobody can ever point finger on him. He doesn't take action. That is how a man will. Doesn't take us on fast like a woman. Our women should come down and follow the instruction of DOS. If even me talking, uh, we have to do that. That's our rules and regulation in IPOB. If you don't like that, step out of the struggle. Start your own. Stop blaming somebody. That it doesn't work that way. Omuchineke bikonu bikonu. I am when we don't have problem in that POP. Not at all. Not at we don't have any problem. That we should be. listen to what the DOS is telling us. May God protect us and guide us. May his name be praised in you the government of Mazin and the Kano. You see? You see? You see? You see? You see? Caller on WhatsApp, you'll be the last caller, please. I'll give you three minutes. I pick your call because you have been insisting. Go on, please. Go on. You'll be the last caller. Go on. Caller on WhatsApp, can you Yes, hear sir. Me? Thank you. Yeah, well. I can hear 
Thank you. Yeah. And they will, Mazi, thank you. Good evening, sir. They will welcome to the program. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, my name is uh, Olis Tachukumba. I am calling from my location. Mazi, Jonathan. May God bless you. Very good. May God bless our leader, Mazun Namde, you know, in the drum of DSS on the zoo, on the ground called the Zoo Nation. May God bless him and keep him alive. The journey is close and it's smooth. We are drawing close to the building. Mother, I thank you for your topic this evening. There's so much things going on, which is not what's supposed to be going on now. I don't know why it's happening like this. Uh, coming to the area of uh, United States women, I heard what was going on yesterday. I was in the house. Can I, I say something wasn't here can, before you continue, please? You know, what we are seeing yes. going on, uh, this and that, there is no problem. You know, in a congregation of millions of people, there ought to be some you know complaints commissions you know it's normal so let us not take it yeah. as if oh it's extraordinary no no anywhere it is always like that but only thing is that we are trying in order to minimize it after all yeah our leader how many times he settled he settles problems until even uh, a time in germany he he settled problem openly where people even know are saying uh, uh, how can this man be settling this type of thing open he said no what is the problem why is a uh, munich minken just close you know it's a part of it you know just imagine in the family if you grow up every day your father and mother will be settling problems you know there will be you know but that is it doesn't make that family to divide no it's normal thing because we are all humans do you or do you know it's true. Uh, 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 IPOP is the biggest, the largest mass movement. So it's normal. But uh, yep. the the most important thing is that we must continue. So go on, my brother, please. Yes, go sir. On. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. I like uh, the lighting you give to me. That's what I'm about to say. You know, that's the, the wing is going to blow. Uh, but it's not quite long now that Mazi left. Everything is, everybody is trying to swim. Sw I'm shaking the wing is blowing everyone is trying to shake what i'm trying to say that let the women in america the i will be family in america let them get their house in order because i know that mazi oyundu left a strong a structure and the foundation a solid foundation and a solid rock and the foundation has been laid and no one on this earth can shake it up except the chuko kikadiyama because it has been endorsed by chuko kikadiyama himself so anybody that is trying to make the journey of one day or two days to turn to a journey of a thousand years man Chico Kadam is going to blow that person and his family that's what i'm trying to say so let the women of america call their first order let them listen to dos because that is the head of foundation of ipob worldwide let them listen because now they have picked them yeah when they Trumpet was sounding. Where are they? Where are many people putting on confusion in there in so many places? Coming out to say some of things. When you, the trumpet was sounding, man was quiet. Yeah. Thank you. Where are they? So now, those that answer the call have taken the place and let them be because as I've seen them before, they give it to them the DOS to control IPOB body worldwide. And if the if DOS fell, we know that. This you and the people that Mazi bring that is the people that fell down so let us listen this is command and control and whatever they say that we should do that is going to work that is going to be what we should do and no two ways about that so Thank i you. we all in hope we no. all back home here we are listening we are watching so we are not ipob does not mean we are not called beer france we do preaching every day we fight with the people and we try to convince them we know how much i saw in this in my time in my sweat and everything argument in the bosses even we stand in nigerian army driving a bus all the way from lagos here to lagos island i know i withstand them i don't am afraid of that i'm not ipob but we do something we know that those are called it's not all that called that will enter the Philly kingdom and he say i want them to keep on listening to dos this is not a time we should be listening to 
side talk, you know, this, 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 this man. Let me tell you, anybody that is Your talk. time has elapsed. There will. <laughs> You're making okay, people sir. are calling me. Sorry, another day. Thank you very much, my brother. I think you've made your point. Thank you, sir. There will. Thank you, thank you sir. Yeah. Um, our people should stop generalizing issues, please. Uh, there is nothing like uh, IPOB women in America, you know. No, please. Uh, you know, let us. When one or do you know how many IPOB women in America? When somebody come up on A and say uh, something, don't general, don't generalize. There is nothing like this problem. The main author of the problem has even be ex been expelled. So it's just few individuals that are uh, trying to misunderstand and derail one way or the other. So that is the thing. It's not general. Oh, IPOB women in America. No, 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 no. And I think I have somebody um, also IPOB woman in America, which. Uh, I think I picked the call right now. Caller, can you hear me? Yes, I can, my Jonathan welcome, welcome. No, Dr. Tina. No, welcome to the program, please. Yes, this is Dr. Dr. Tina. I am so sorry to come to the, to the very end of your program. I'm so sorry. I have been listening to Radio Biafra all day long. I usually listen, I don't call. I usually just listen to everyone's opinion. I am very sorry that I'm coming on the air for the second time because okay. I think I called the Maja this morning. But I want to really reiterate what you said. There is no problem at large with us, IPOB women in the United States. There are many, many, many of us. Be our friends. Be our friends, please do not away all your daughters and all your women and all of your mothers United States IPOB women we are solidly behind DOS one or two people had issues that they were not supposed to bring out to the social media they brought it out to the social media I must call one person's name that everybody knows and from this point on, I will never mention her name again. Nelly, Dr. Nelly of Faye, took our issue or whatever issue she had with some members of IPOB in the United States concerning the money for some people all over the world. I think she was trying to justify it. And told it out there and put our laundry out in public. And DOS rightfully suspended her. And we expelled her. And when she continued to sow the seed of discord among us, some of us, not just women, some men, some coordinators followed her. And they should have never followed her. Because when we expel someone in IPOB, we disassociate with that person and continue. My brothers and my sisters around the world, I have come this afternoon again to say, that we IPOB women in the United States are in support of our DOS, in support of our, of our HOD, who is a smart, smart, smart man, working, like we say in IPOB, assiduously to restore Biafra. Do not underestimate Majichike Dozium. Do not underestimate DOS. They are working so very hard for us. We should be appreciative and not castigating them. But beware of people who are cutting you and at the same time blowing breeze on you. And such people have platforms that you people listen to. Please make sure that when you're listening to my Sam and Eva nowadays, listen between the lines. Don't be foolish, Beatrice. Listen between the lines. He is making caricature of you this struggle. And I do not take that lightly anymore. No more should we take it lightly. No more should you stand still and make a finger poke into your eyes. Let a finger poke into your eyes. Don't let them poke into your eyes. They have a leader in DSS dungeon. 
And the people who were blowing hard in the beginning, we think they have a hand in putting our leader into that dungeon. And what they did was they started with offense. And they thought that their offense at other people would deflect what we should have been looking at them for. They started calling Madame Nenayanya. They started calling Adama, who is minding her business here in the United States. They started calling our leader secretary. Instead of looking inward and seeing that they are the ones who had IPOB money to pay the ransom, to pay for the, the bounty to catch our leader and rendition our leader to, to Nigeria. They should look inward, not outward. And now they have seized our money and they are blackmailing all of IPOB. My brothers, my sisters, don't let people poke their, eye, poke your, their finger into your eye. They cannot do it to us. I say that the personal issues that they have should remain personal. Some of them are manic. Some of them are just people who talk too much. Some of them have discipline issues. Some of them cannot follow instructions. We are people who are disciplined, just like one of your colleagues just said. We are disciplined people. This is a disciplined movement. Like my, my as I said this morning, I didn't know that the microphone is so powerful. We are going to go this way that Majin Namdekano has showed us to use the microphone to disintegrate Nigeria and make sure that it breaks up into pieces and Biafra will go. And if you don't keep your eyes on the ball at this crucial, crucial moment, Biafra, we are making a great mistake. Don't let these people who go to social media to just stop, this, discourage you or take your eyes of what we're trying to do. Focus. You know, I come on the radio on Saturdays and I tell you to focus. Please focus, my brothers. Please focus, my sisters. If we tell, if we start telling the truth, we will start actually knowing what happened. And everybody who knows the truth about what happened should come on Radio Biafra and tell us. Otherwise, we are not having any problems. IPOB has no problems. There are many of us who have personal issues of integrity, Issues of discipline, issues of being able to control the amounts. But those are the issues we have. IPOB women in the United States, we are fine. I can tell you that my sisters who are in Texas with me, and I can call many names. There are many IPOB women all over this United States of America, and they're supporting the struggle. So please do not throw out the baby with the bathwater. That means that when you're throwing out the bathwater, keep your baby. We are not all the same. We are not Nelly of Fable. We are all not Nelly of Fable. Nelly of Fable has wronged the IPOB. She's expelled. Stop associating with her. If you associate with her, you are then one of our enemies. And that's it. It's just one person that we know for sure right now. And then I think Madame Oyubo will come around. If she doesn't come around and start releasing the funds of IPOB to ESN, then we can do something about that. But so far, we haven't heard DOS say anything yet because they are very disciplined people, very long-suffering, very intelligent. And I thank them for the work that they do. And long live Mazen Namdekano, and we wait for the 21st of October to see our leader. Great afternoon from here, dear friends. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, Dr. Tina. Thank you. I think you have said it all. And uh, this is where I'm going to close the program. Dear friends, let us at least limit. I'm not saying stop. To be distracted, but limit to the barest minimum our distractibility. <laughs> you understand? You know, we are having issues with our enemies, our core enemies, the politicians in our land, the Fulani Caliphate. And, uh, you, know, you know, when you keep on 
running from pillar to post, trying to gossip and fight yourselves. You are no, you are no more fighting your, the enemy. You understand? This is what distracted us, and we couldn't even go to New York in in mass in order to confront the uh, the, the the imposter. And when the thing passed, we are okay, just like oh, had it been I oh, but that's it. Lack of discipline and loyalty can make the journey more longer. Remember the Israelis from Egypt to the promised land of Canaan, under normal circumstances, is supposed to be by marching, maybe 40 days or even less. But it took them 40 years because they were not disciplined. So God took them around the desert to force them into discipline. I mean, forcing them. That is why I say dictatorship sometimes is good. I mean, good dictatorship. It's normal. God dictated to the Jews to tell them that, yes, you must be forced to obey the rules. Otherwise, you perish. That is why a journey that's supposed to take them 40 days, just one month and 10 days, it takes them four decades. And many people fell on the way. Those that felt they know they were eating cucumber in Egypt. Those that felt that they know more than Moses. Those that felt that, you know, they know more. Before Moses can talk, he said, this small boy. I was there when, after all, I was there when I was even uh, 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 an administrator. Do you know what it means to be a, an engineer? I was an engineer even when you were picked up in the they told Moses his uh, story, his history. Do you know that you were picked up in a papyrus, papyrus uh, reeds in, in the Red Sea? Do you know that we know? You small boy, why are you, what are you talking? Can't you I beg? Who is a... Uh, you know, those that know more better. Because there are people that know more better. Those that feel that they are independent of IPOB. Oh, independent, I don't... This is, anyway, I, I reserve my comment tomorrow. I will host it. Don't worry. Tomorrow, we we'll talk about it. So, dear friends, please, as I said, there is no confusion in IPOB. If you say IPOB have confusion, it is not IPOB. It is you that is confused because you want to be confused because you look for gossip. Do you understand? Imagine a movement of millions of people all over the world in hundred countries plus hundred and something countries. Do you think it's easy? Do you think it's easy to manage human beings? Talk less of Igbo people. Talk less of beer friends. We are only one of my here. I, you know, sometimes I look at ourselves. I, I start laughing, honestly speaking. Sometimes you start talking with a, an intellectual, Igbo intellectual. You start, I start laughing. You start talking with somebody, only ego, this egocentric people. You know, they make me laugh. He will tell you who he is. He will tell you how he is doing this. How, but I say, I say, simple question. Oh God, but why are we scattered all over suffering? Why are cattle headers uh, ruling us? If all of us know this and that, know this and that, when our leader never came into the scene, no person had the balls to do it. Now he came out. Now you see uh, uh, highness and uh, uh, fox, every type of uh, jackal, everything come out. They know more than, you know, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Why don't you, that your knowledge, that your know-how, why don't you use it as part of the body, as an organ, quietly? in order to continue contributing to the success of the body. Why will you make noise? Why will you come and oh, you know this, you are, you, you know, it doesn't make sense. I don't, I know more, never, I cannot tell people, oh, we both, I, we know that. No, 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 it makes me feel ashamed even. It makes me feel ashamed. 
Look at something that somebody said, a caller. He said, Iboho, had it been Iboho, is uh, an Igbo man. No person will follow him, only few. They will use that his lack of speaking English fluently, attack him, laugh at him, as if life depends on speaking English. Uh, I used to say, it. we all of us, we are, we are foolish, honestly. You thought somebody would just speak, speaking of language that is foreign. Do you know that if Biafra is restored, knowledge is not uh, only for those uh, that study the this and that. You can be a master in your profession, in your field. It doesn't make you wise. Being a great doctor, for example, or a great engineer, it doesn't make you wise politically. It doesn't make you wise in administration. No. You can be a genius in when you touch uh, one eye and put it in another alloy, it gives you another thing. You're a genius in that, in that line. That is your line. But it doesn't make you, you know, you are no, no it all when it comes to administration. There are people that they don't, even, they don't even know how to speak English fluently. But when it comes to administration, my goodness me, you see them. You see them organize things. You baffle. So, that is how we should see ourselves. Instead of uh, trying to bring out this ego. Now, who are you? Can you talk? Can you speak English more than me? Oh, the, what, I have uh, this degree. I did, what is it that is worrying us? You know, we didn't have structure. That is why all our talents are going almost in vain. Instead, we are using it to develop, to contribute to the development of countries that have structure. Because without structure, without a structure, a system, that your talent, that your genuity is nothing. It's nothing. It's just a, like I said, Eti Mason is a very big footballer. But uh, his career was cut short because he lacked discipline. Not his leg. His leg was not cut. But he lacked discipline. That is the thing. So let us focus. Let us focus. IPOB, without this IPOB, without the structure of IPOB, you will have no place to, to, to be among. You will not even have any uh, IPOB to call. To, to call even to, to, to be talking of. Because when you talk about IPOB, you are talking about a structure being put in place. An institution. IPOB is an institution. We should respect it. You understand? We should respect her. By being disciplined and loyal to it, to her, that is all it, it demands. So that we move forward, so that we focus and move forward towards our destination. So, great dear friends, well, this is where I'm going to stop. Biafra is our religion, and Radio Biafra is where we worship. We have no other ideology, other than Biafra. We have no, no other ideology other than Biafra. Before we are moving like, a, you know, a spirit. You know, spirit, they don't have body in this planet. So, just like nothing. A breeze. We don't have no structure. That is why we are, you know, we are moving endlessly. The whole thing now, our ideology, they, they deceive us by focusing our ideology. They made our ideology to be money, looking for money. Do you see it? So if you can say your brother to make money, you do it. If you can even betray your people to make money, after all, your people have no ideology, no structure. So you do it. Money becomes our structure. That is very bad. And that is what we are changing the narrative. IPOB is one family. This is where I'm going to stop. As I said, we are counting. Tomorrow, I'll be here with Maazi Chike Dozium, Maazi China Samoru, and Maazi Abanyo on interactive session. So you put down your questions. 
you can send them or also call if you're lucky because many people will be calling let me warn you let me warn you many calls will be there there are dear devil callers i tell you honestly that is uh, the reason why you are hearing some people's voice almost every day they are there they are devils you know uh, like this our brother nago fondo i respect him that is why some i will not if i sometimes he call you see his call is more than 100 on that one day he he keep on calling call he, that is consistent sometimes you know we learn from little th that is consistency there is one brother that wrote me say you don't pick my call and i saw the i finished the program i think the other day i just scrolling i saw we wrote and i saw every day he used to call once if he call once ah yes he called twice i saw miss call twice uh, once he keep quiet i told him brother if you want to enter persevere these people you used to hear their voice every day if they tell you how they used to call some used to call the train lines all <laughs> like a man sometimes if we call call i will say my god if we call here as he's calling this line he's calling two lines at the same time you call signal call what's up call that you all at the same time <laughs> you know so that is pers persistence i mean consistency that is it we learn from little things so that person that is consistent immediately another person is uh, finished speaking his call will come out and you yourself now we are a gentle peace loving person because you're you don't know that the world will suffer it violence <laughs> do you understand you know it reminds me the way they refer to us. Oh, Eastern region, the most peaceful people. I hate to hear that word again. That statement, I hate it. Before, you know, before we, we are being insulted with, without knowing and we accept it. Oh, peaceful people. I know now. I peaceful people. In a world that suffered violence that you are peaceful people, your own is gone. Honestly, that is why we are where we are today. I said, my sin, I'm the it, it took time to just start picking our remnants. Our remnants, he was speaking. That is what we are doing. Otherwise, we are gone. So, when tomorrow, if you are calling, if you want to call, you call. When the lines are open, please. And you call, you persevere, and you'll be picked. That's it. Thank you very much for listening today. And uh, our brother that called from Finland, please, let me say this. I didn't mean to cut you off, but I hate, you know, arguing on air. I hate it. I hate it. I, I, I love civilized discussion because when i'm speaking you are speaking nobody is, is talking you know as if we are fighting on air if you make your point i say i am holding the microphone let us not abuse things other radio stations you will call they will direct you sometimes they will pause you and say wait you have to wait because the you are calling the person is holding the microphone he can cut you off and you want to make a point so it's for you to hold on that is even the discipline we are talking about you hold on no person you are not hustling you speak i interject i say okay wait now you allow me to make my point you understand when i make my point i say okay go on now you go on make your point if i have to reply i reply it's like that let the superior argument reign but when you know you talk i want to say no 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 it's not you know it becomes a uh, rowdy i don't i hate it i could i could not for i could not forget i think 2014 i will not forget that call where one yoruba we are one yoruba man called our leader he started ranting even he spoke Igbo. 
Ndibo, stop uh, allowing this man to deceive on now. You see, Femi Fane Kayode, he, he was uh, uh, sleeping with uh, Bianco Juku. He ranted our leader waited. This man have patience. So. When our leader interjected, want to talk, the man want, don't want. He don't want to give him. He talk, talk. Our leader have to say, look, I don't argue with animals. That is zoo. I cannot discuss with animals. If you are civilized, now we it cut him off. That's it. So, when you this radio we are learning we are trying to teach ourselves civility that abro character nigeria character we are shading it here is we is a divine platform we go everything by in order if the presenter tells you wait he pauses you you hold on now he makes his point now you he say okay go on you go on there is no fight. It's no. I don't know you. You don't know me personally. We have a focal point. That is Biafra. That is what we are working towards. So it's not. We are not a uh, yada You might have a different uh, idea or ideology or different uh, uh, suggestion or anything. Now, if I look at it, I see that maybe there is something I need to add or there is something that you are not. I think you are not getting right. I will try to talk about it. But if you convince me with your superior argument, I bow. That's it. But we must listen to each other. So that's it. So thank you very much for listening. And uh, tomorrow is another day. As the members of the DOS, they are coming up on air. HOD is there to answer your questions. From me, Mars Jonathan, from here. It is simply...